Uh, not good. Iolo's face changed drastically. He felt Yulo's murderous intent and screamed in his heart. He hurriedly adjusted his flying body, trying to avoid Yulo's killer move. However, things didn't go as planned. At this time, Ilo's body was too weak. He tried his best to adjust with difficulty, and the speed of his inverted flight was just a few minutes slower, when the hot and fierce wind and waves were already roaring towards him. Yulo's figure appeared in front of him. The cold light in Gujing Wubo's face was like an ancient ferocious beast. The green fire surged and white energy lingered on the index finger of his right hand, carrying an aura that penetrated everything, and stabbed Ailot brazenly. This finger was so close in front of him that Ilot was unable to resist it. Yulo's murderous intent shrouded him, his pupils shrank suddenly, and a feeling of heart palpitations swept through his body. Ilot, who was helpless, was attacked by Yulo's fierce offensive, and his mind went blank. What Marine Admiral, what awakened abilities, and how to destroy the pirate Yulo, were all forgotten at this moment. The only thing is endless fear, the fear of death, the fear of falling into the bottomless abyss. In Ilo's eyes, Yulo was the Shinigami who led him. Fearing death, he instinctively put up useless resistance. No, don't, don't. Pass. Ilot's eyes were full of fear and panic, and he subconsciously stretched out his hand to resist. It was too late, but it was too soon. Yulo waved his left hand and slapped away Ilo's arm that wanted to resist. At the same time, under the point of his right index finger, blue-white flame energy shot out while flowing. Bang. Puff. The sound of impact and blood spurting sounded at the same time, and the blue white flames were unstoppable and penetrated directly through Ilo's heart. With one blow, a wound the size of a fist opened in Ilo's chest, and blood spurted out. The heartbreaking pain stimulated his brain, and Ilo, who was trapped in the abyss of fear, regained consciousness in an instant. Monster, you are a. Ilo's eyes widened, he looked at Yulo in disbelief, and murmured angrily. He felt that his life was passing quickly, and he wanted to say something, but he couldn't. Finally, in silence, Ilot opened his mouth and stared at Yulo. All life was lost, consciousness completely dissipated, and the body fell. Yulo's body flashed, and he activated the six style razor, turning it into a trajectory and passing by the falling Ailot. Then, he stopped in midair, holding the dead body of Ailot in his left hand. Tisk, tisk, Mr. Admiral, you died unjustly. Yulo glanced at the body and shook his head in a playful tone. Even though he knew that he was restrained by his green fire, he still had to risk it. Then he realized that Ching Huo had a strong restraint on him. Not only did he retreat without any difficulty, but he was determined to eliminate Yulo fearlessly. You said you want to switch to another admiral. There is no disadvantage that can be suppressed, and there is still a little bit of hope. As soon as Ilot came up, he never had the upper hand and was restrained to death. Under such a disadvantageous situation, Making such a decision is really not an ordinary brave thing, it is simply super brave. Peefed. Yulo thought about it carefully and smiled very unkindly. Admiral of Headquarters, are they all this kind of IQ? Even though he knew he was defeated, he thought he was right. He always had a lucky mentality and always felt that defeating Yulo would not be a big problem as long as he put more effort. If he had rushed to join everyone before the mission was triggered, and Ilot had the good sense to run away, he would still be safe and sound today. But, in the final result, congratulations to Ailotson, you succeeded in playing yourself to death. Yulo calculated the time and rushed to meet up as soon as possible. With a thought, the sea of fire in the sky disappeared completely in the blink of an eye. The heat in this area also disappeared instantly, and the high temperature in the air returned to normal temperature. The sky returned to calm, and clouds floated in again, as if everything had never happened. Yulo determined the direction, and the elements of his feet turned into green fire. Driven by the flame jet, he carried the body of Ilot and flew towards the meeting point. Whoosh! In the sky, a trace of cyan streaked across the sky, and Yulo's figure disappeared from the sky. And before that, on the other side, not too far away, was Naval Headquarters Marine Ford. Admiral Quincy called bugs continuously, but Ilot didn't respond at all. Kong, Herman, Quincy, and the five elders all fell silent. Then, the five elders said that it was already too late. Kong and the other three were going to send the five elders to the island for logistics treatment. Let Quincy transform into a Feng Shun pterodactyl and chase Ailot together. Otherwise, Kong would feel uneasy with Quincy alone. Master five elders, I will send you there first. Oh no, Kong said to the three old men with a gloomy face, controlling his emotions. But before he finished speaking, his expression suddenly changed and he screamed out in surprise. Marshal Kong, are you okay? Herman and Quincy asked with puzzled faces and a slightly impatient look on their faces. 
They were waiting to settle down the five elders and rushed to support Alot, but unexpectedly Kong stopped suddenly. Can we not be in a hurry? Time is very precious. If they go a little earlier, the danger to Ilot can be reduced a bit. Kong. What's going on? What happened? The three old men sat on the ground, noticed this scene, and frowned and asked. Kong has always been very steady, and things that can make him change his face or even exclaim loudly are no small things. Ilot, we are in crisis. Kong said as he quickly took out three white life cards from his arms. In the world of pirates, this is a piece of paper that represents a person's life. It shrinks when it becomes weak, and returns to its original size when it recovers. The three life cards he took out were the life cards of the three admirals in the naval headquarters who were second only to him and belonged directly to him as the marshal. Only these three marine pillars are worth carrying with him. This is the life card of the three admirals. Ilot is afraid of bad luck at the moment. Kong quickly pulled out Ilo's life card. Compared with the other two life cards, Ilo's was very small, only half the size of Herman and Quincy's. This situation means that Ilo's body is extremely weak at this time. Lord Five Elders, Marshal Kong, let's hurry up and provide support. If we don't hurry up, it will really be too late. Herman and Quincy's expressions changed. When they saw Ilo's life card, they urgently begged for support. They are both marine admirals and have worked together for many years, so there is still some friendship, not to mention that the enemy is a pirate, so it is even more obligatory. The military base at naval headquarters has been reduced to ruins. If something happens to Alot again, the losses will be even worse. The three old men sitting cross-legged on the ground glanced at the life card, their eyes flickering. The three of them looked at each other and communicated with their eyes. At this moment, the steady Kong also had a look of anxiety on his face, and his heart was filled with worries, and he even regretted making this decision. Ilot is his subordinate, one of the strongest combat forces in naval headquarters. It is an important and indispensable combat force against the Rock's pirate. Such admiral-level combat power plays an extremely crucial role and cannot be missed. Master Five Elders, let's go. Seeing that the Five Elders were silent and wondering what they were thinking, Kong couldn't bear it any longer and decided to pursue them. Time is of the essence now, and the reason for asking the Five Elders for advice is out of respect for them. Since the Five Elders were hesitant, he simply took over for me. As a marshal, he had some weight, not to mention that he was going to rescue the Marine Admiral, so the Five Elders couldn't say anything. However, before Kong finished speaking, he was suddenly interrupted. Look at the horizon. What is that? Admiral Quincy glanced out of the corner of his eye and suddenly said in surprise. Kong was talking when he was suddenly interrupted. A surge of anger surged into his heart, and he was about to scold him. After hearing Admiral Quincy's words, he subconsciously looked up. Herman and the three old men were also looking towards the horizon. On the distant skyline, the clouds and fog dispersed, and a blue sun stretched across the sky. It echoed the real sun, one yellow and one green, which was really strange. Although this cyan sun, compared with the real sun, seems to be competing with the bright moon. However, such a phenomenon can still occur at such a long distance, which is enough to show that the real size is comparable to an island in the sea. Kong, five elders and others are well informed and can naturally analyze the reasons. What the hell is this? Quincy looked at the cyan sun in the sky, wishing he could turn into a pterodactyl and fly up to see the whole scene. Why does it feel familiar? Herman frowned, held his chin with his hand and muttered, but couldn't remember anything. Kong glanced at him, and he didn't know why. Looking at this cyan sun, his heart pounded, and he had an unknown premonition. Hey, look at this direction, it should be the direction Yulo escaped from. The leader, the old man with glasses, shook his head dejectedly, sighed and said. The old man with a long beard and the old man in a suit couldn't help but sigh and clench their fists tightly. The fact is what they thought. It would be good if they could escape successfully, otherwise it would be too late. As soon as the old man with glasses finished speaking, Herman's whole body was shocked, and a hint of fear flashed in his eyes unconsciously. This is the blue flame ability of Pirate Yulo. Herman concealed his fear and spoke solemnly. No wonder it feels familiar, but it's not just Yulo's ability. Quincy was stunned after hearing this. The word Yulo shocked his mind. Before he could speak, an exclamation sounded. Oops. Quick, quick. Let's get there quickly. Kong's heart trembled, and then his face changed drastically. He said three quick words in a row, and his tone was extremely anxious. Sure enough, the ominous premonition really came true in this situation. Kong took a step forward and moved quickly, followed by Quincy and Herman. At this time, the blue sun in the sky suddenly exploded and turned into a large sea of fire. The three old men looked at him sideways, but they did not stop Kong and the others from doing anything. 
However, even if the three old men did not stop him, Kong's body froze and his footsteps suddenly stopped. Marshal Kong, hurry up and catch up, why did you stop? Marshal Kong, Marshal Kong, what happened? Quincy and Herman, overtaking Kong, found him halting, aware of his change, and urged anxiously. Too late, too late. Kong's eyes were bloodshot, and his trembling voice contained violent killing intent. Eilat, has. Fallen. As he spoke, he opened his palm, a cloud of ashes fell, and the life card disappeared. This this, Quincy and Herman froze on the spot. Although they were mentally prepared, they still couldn't believe it. Yulo, Rox, and the pirates, I will destroy you, ah. The repressed Kong now looked ferocious, and his violent murderous aura was released without reservation. Boom. Kong punched out, and his violent and ferocious momentum was released with the punch. The calm sea suddenly became rough, and violent fists raged, breaking the calm atmosphere. In the high altitude field, a spaceship is sailing, it is Rox and his team. Have leader Yulo's Qinglian Earth Core fire become so strong? A fireball that big is like a miniature sun. I feel so majestic even though I'm so far away. I heard from Officer Shaki that the one chasing Officer Yulo seems to be the Marine Admiral. TCH. What's wrong with Admiral? Facing Yulo Kadris, he will be cool in minutes. The pirates on the boat were discussing the Cyan Sun just now. Also at a high altitude, the scene they saw was more shocking than on land. They are all members of the pirate group, so they naturally know Yulo's abilities. The moment the Cyan Sun appeared, sharp eyed pirates recognized it. In the cabin, Rox, Newgate, Shaki, Kaido, and Linlin were sitting together drinking. Yulo is so popular that he finally mentioned me because of something I said. Hearing the discussion outside, Golden Lion Shaki puffed on a cigar and complained in a depressed voice. Of course, the main reason is Yulo's strength, which is already far ahead of him. Gu la la la, I say Shaki, wait until you surpass me and then compete with Yulo. Newgate smiled unkindly. Seeing Shaki like this, he laughed so happily that everyone outside could hear it clearly. Newgate, what do you mean, I, Shaki, can't compare to you? When Shaki heard this, he became furious and threw his cigarette butt in anger. When Newgate saw this, he smiled and said nothing, letting Shaki blab. Now Shaki has not even surpassed him, but he wants to compete with pervert Yulo. I'm still in front of you, trying to overtake in a corner, it doesn't exist, it's just a dream. Shaki couldn't stop as soon as he started quarreling, and spittle flew everywhere. Fortunately, Newgate was so generous that he ignored Shaki and changed positions to continue drinking. Newgate is always teasing Shaki, but forget about fighting with him, Shaki will never stop. Kaido, shirtless and bandaged red, drank in silence. Kaido, who has a super strong physique, has basically stabilized his injuries, but the faint pain makes him still immersed in the battle just now. He was brutally beaten in a few moves, which formed a sharp contrast with Yulo who was killing everyone. It also made Kaido realize that in a real high-end battle, he was not even qualified to join. The same goes for Charlotte Linlin, but she is stronger than Kaido and has the peak strength of Vice Admiral. This battle made her make some progress, unlike Kaido who suffered abuse in vain. What he paid most attention to was Yulo, whose invincible figure lingered in his mind. Young man Yulo, it's been so long, why haven't you come back yet? At this time, Shaki was tired from arguing. He raised his head and took a big gulp of wine, still mumbling. Hearing Shiki's words, Charlotte Linlin was stunned and came back from her thoughts. That's true. With Yulo's strength, it's relatively easy to get rid of Eilat, right? Charlotte Linlin's words revealed a lot of trust and seemed to recognize Yulo very much. It was this inner recognition that made Shaki and her a little confused. Yulo was intercepted by Admiral on the way, so there was nothing to worry about. After all, his strength was there. In the battle with five elders and others, his combat power could be said to dominate the field. But the time is not short. We just want to get rid of Eilat, but we don't want to kill him. It stands to reason that Yulo should have returned by this time. Look at that Cyan Sun such a terrifying move is more than enough to get rid of Admiral. Gu la la la, Shaki, Linlin, there is nothing to worry about. With Yulo's fighting power, who else can stop him except Captain Rox? Newgate seemed very calm, drinking wine gracefully and without any worries. As a Rox pirate, it turns out that one person has fought against three admirals. Against any admiral, Newgate might just be able to contend. But Yulo, one on one admiral, not to mention getting rid of the entanglement, even killing the admiral alone is not impossible. Newgate is right, Yulo should be back soon. Even Kaido, who has always been silent, trusts Yulo very much in his words. Who's worried about that monster? 
It's just that he's too slow and waited until the cigar was finished. Shaki curled his lips arrogantly and complained unintentionally. He subconsciously wanted to smoke, but found that there was no more smoke, he couldn't help but complain. As the strongest man, Captain Rox had always maintained a cold and dignified attitude, but at this moment, the corners of his mouth suddenly raised, revealing a smile. The pirate ship was traveling high in the sky, and in the distant sky, a streak of cyan light flew over at extremely high speed. There are people from behind, approaching quickly. The pirates on the boat were drinking and chatting happily. Seeing this scene, they all looked up and couldn't help but be wary. Since they were at a high altitude, it was very inconvenient to move, so the pirates could only stay prepared. It wasn't until the green streamer approached that he realized who it was. Don't be nervous, we are Yulo cadres, not enemies. Many sharp-eyed crew members, including the captain who was well-informed and well-informed, noticed Yulo first and immediately shouted to signal everyone. It's really Master Yulo, Master Yulo is back. Ha 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 ha, even Marine Admiral stopped Yulo Kadri. Hurry up and prepare some food and wine for Yulo to replenish his energy. Seeing Yulo's safe return, the pirates cheered loudly and loudly. In the cabin, Captain Rox has a smile on his face. The next moment, there was a sound outside, reaching the ears of Rox and others. Gia ha ha ha, let's talk about Yulo. It's really the right time for Yulo to arrive. Golden Lion Shiki's depressed face changed, and he laughed with surprise. Gu la la la, everyone will be here when Yulo comes back. Whitebeard Newgate reached out, put the wine bottle back on the table, and swallowed the drink. Let's go out and meet Yulo. Rox stood up directly, with a faint smile on his face, and walked at the front, followed by Newgate, Shaki, Linlin, and Kaido. The five people walked out of the cabin and onto the deck. Upon seeing this, the pirates gave way. Everyone, I'm back. With a sound, the stream of green fire came in an instant and fell on the open space on the deck. Boom. The green fire dispersed, and Yulo's figure appeared in front of everyone. Snap. With a flick of Yulo's arm, Ilo's body was casually thrown at his feet. Why did Yulo Kadri come back with a corpse? This corpse is really miserable, burned beyond recognition. Among so many pirates, there were just a few who were not very bright, while the vast majority of the crew just stared at the corpses without saying a word. Even Newgate and Shaki, about to laugh out loud, were startled by the corpse. Yulo, as this dead man. Shaki pointed to the corpse at his feet and asked in a confused tone. In fact, he already had the answer in his mind, but he couldn't help but confirm it. If that's what he thinks, Yulo is really awesome. You were talking about this corpse, Admiral Ilot. He kept pestering me and insisted on destroying me. He looked so desperate. If I couldn't get rid of him, I just killed him. Yulo suddenly nodded and said lightly, without any fluctuation in his tone, as if he was talking about something trivial. Shaki was shocked when he heard this. It was indeed what he thought, this corpse was Ilot. The dignified marine snow leopard admiral was killed when he said he would be killed, and his body was right in front of him. Newgate was shocked and looked helpless. He thought of whatever he wanted, but Yulo really did it. It's easy for him to just think about it, but if he really wants to do it, he still has to rely on strength. Newgate, Shaki, Kaido, and Linlin stared at the corpse, their eyes flashing, and their hearts were shocked. Don't worry, you can't die anymore. Seeing that no one was talking, Yulo stretched out his legs and kicked Ilo's body a few times. Newgate, Shaki, couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth when he saw this scene. After all, you were a marine admiral when you were alive, so you can kill them all, but after you die, you still have to whip the corpse. As expected of Yulo boy, we haven't even killed Admiral yet and you've already started showing off with Admiral's body. Isn't this a bit too much? Everyone was silent for a while, the pirates were dumbfounded and swallowed their saliva one by one. Although, they didn't find it strange that Yulo killed Admiral. However, after so many years of being a pirate, this was the first time I saw the body of Marine Admiral. Moreover, Yulo is also the second person they know to kill Admiral besides Rox. Ha 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 ha, Yulo did a good job. If you don't want to be left behind, you need to strengthen your training. Rox opened his arms slightly, with his palms facing the sky, raised his head and laughed heartily, changing his indifferent majesty, showing his arrogant nature. He came to Yulo again, patted his shoulders a few times, and nodded with a smile on his face. Then, he turned to Newgate, said something to Shaki and others, and stepped into the cabin alone. Rox didn't even look at Ilo's body at his feet. Rox's departure made the atmosphere more relaxed, and what he just said was invisibly confirmed. Oh my god, it's really Admiral's corpse. Those who didn't know better would have thought it was a little minion. This Ilo, the majestic marine snow leopard admiral, can be considered a top powerhouse. 
Who says otherwise, but he was unlucky and met Yulo Kadri. One person severely damaged the five elders and killed the marine admiral. The strength of Yulo's Kadri seems to have no limit. Seeing rocks leaving, the scene suddenly became noisy. The crew members were all in high spirits and spouted out the words stuck in their throats. Yulo Kadris are mighty, Yulo Kadris are invincible. Yulo Kadris are mighty, Yulo Kadris are invincible. Yulo Kadris are mighty, Yulo Kadris are invincible. Amid the fierce booing from the troublemakers, all the crew members shouted loudly, and Yulo's name rang through the sky. Okay, okay, everyone, sit down, I'm going to speed up. Yulo had a smile on his face and waved his hand. He has already rejoined the fleet and will speed up to return to Beehive Island. Upon hearing this, the crew members' high pitched voices gradually subsided and they sat down obediently. They can still distinguish the priorities of things. But he was still very excited, and he was whispering after sitting down. Yulo waved his hand, and Chinglian's inner fire surged out and attached to the metal steel pipe at the stern of the ship. Boom! The compressed green fire jet produced a huge thrust, and the pirate ship roared, and its speed suddenly increased several times. Driven by flame jets, the pirate ship struck across the sky and flew away in the wind. Yulo returned to the cabin with Shiki, Nugate, Kaido, and Linlin. As soon as he sat down, he picked up the wine and grabbed the meat, and Yulo ate happily. After a series of battles, although I didn't feel tired, my stomach was really growling. Yulo boy, just kill an admiral, why are you so hungry? Shaki raised the corner of his mouth, deliberately pressed his nostrils, and said in a playful tone. I don't know why recently, but seeing Yulo getting stronger and stronger, Shaki couldn't help but think about how to make Yulo fall back. I'm going to f asterisk k you golden lion. If you're disgusted, go ahead and do it yourself. Yulo didn't even turn his head, cursed in a black line, and kicked Shaki over. Plop. Shaki fell to the ground and stood up with a look of shame and anger. Hey Yulo, it was just a joke. Yulo snorted, turned a deaf ear to it, and took a big gulp of wine. Aha, it feels so good. Then, Yulo wiped his hands and mouth clean, and gave an unforgettable pleasure. Golden Lion Shaki sat back down, his teeth itching with anger and a depressed look on his face. Yulo Lala, Yulo, I haven't seen you for a while, so you killed Admiral. I really can't see through you more and more. Your strength is like a bottomless pit. Whitebeard Newgate laughed loudly when he saw Yulo finish eating, and his words were full of admiration. In this entire sea, there are many strong people recognized by Newgate, such as Golden Lion Shaki, Buddha Sengoku, Garp, Roger and others. However, apart from Captain Rocks, the only one who can make Newgate admire him from the bottom of his heart is Yulo. In addition to Newgate, Shaki, Kaido, and Linlin couldn't help but pricked up their ears, wondering about Yulo's answer. Anyone with a discerning eye can see Yulo's super strength. This is not Yulo's limit. They are also very curious about Yulo's strongest strength. It's just an admiral to kill. No one will die. Old man Ilo, I'm just giving him a ride. Yulo's mind was running rapidly, and he thought of a humble answer that was full of force at the same time. As for my strength, I have time when I get back. Let's go through two moves. As for the second sentence, Yulo didn't pay much attention to it and mumbled it casually. Newgate, on the other hand, was stunned, opened and closed his mouth, and simply stopped talking. Although he is willing to fight and is not afraid of anyone, once he fights Yulo, he will know Yulo's true strength. Boy Yulo, are you kidding me? Newgate estimated that with 60% of Yulo's combat power, he should be able to defeat him. Shaki, Linlin, and Kaido twitched their mouths and looked at Newgate with strange eyes. The three of them felt that this was not for Newgate to experience Yulo's strongest strength. But let Newgate feel what it is like to be beaten by a monster genius. Everyone was silent for a long time, and no one answered. Finally, getting back to business, Shaki broke the calm. Captain Rocks, the five elders are all in Marineford now, why don't we take this opportunity to go to Marie Joy's and make a scene? Shaki thought for a while and finally asked the doubts in his heart. Shaki had an idea about this during the battle, and he also asked Rocks about this issue before Yulo came back. However, Rocks did not answer directly at that time but was prepared to wait for Yulo to come back before talking. Now that Yulo is back, Shaki can't wait to know the answer to the question. I also want to ask, this is a good opportunity. Without the protection of the five elders, who can stop us in Marineford? Kaido, who had been silent from beginning to end, spoke angrily. Even though he was injured at this time, his warlike nature had changed. Newgate and Charlotte Linlin, asking no questions, awaited Rock's answer. And Yulo sipped his wine glass without saying a word, his eyes twinkling slightly. Haha. 
Do you know about world government? Have you ever been to the depths of Marie Joy's? Brox sneered, put down the wine bottle in his hand, and glanced around a few people. The Marine, the face of world government, is ultimately just an external force. World government that has lasted for 800 years doesn't have its own heritage. The field marshal and the member of CP0 are all admiral level experts, have you seen these before? We made a surprise attack on the naval headquarters, and we all know to leave people to look after the house. The five elders are not fools, since they dare to leave Marie Joyce, they are not afraid of us making a surprise attack. Rox said a lot of words, which made several people stunned. After thinking about it carefully, they finally figured it out. Yulo looked at the awakened Shaki, Kaido, Lin Lin and Nugate, and shook his head secretly. The pleasure of destroying naval headquarters made these guys crazy. Fortunately, Rock's words woke them up. To be honest, world government is just a cover, and these celestial dragons are cunning enough to hide very deeply. During the 800 years of rule, only the five elders in the CP organization were exposed to the eyes of the masses at sea. Let Nugate, Shaki, Kaido and Linlin preconceptions that this is the full power of world government. As everyone knows, deep in Marie Joyce, there is a mysterious being who claims to be the king of the celestial dragons. This person is the real ruler of the world government. When everyone suddenly woke up, Yulo's eyes flickered slightly and he was silent thoughtfully. Rox has said so much and has been emphasizing the foundation of world government without mentioning the existence of that person. As a descendant of the D-Clan, he aims to overthrow the world government. Rox has dominated the new world for more than ten years, investigating the secrets of the world government everywhere. Yulo won't believe that Rox doesn't know that there is a mysterious being deep in Marie Joyce. The reason why he didn't say it out loud was purely to prevent changes. The existence that even he was afraid of would inevitably make people's hearts turbulent. This surprise attack has ended successfully. Yulo, Shaki, Nugate and others drank and talked for a while before returning to the room to rest. In the cabin room, Yulo sat cross-legged on the bed. Before taking a rest, he was going to collect the rewards for checking in twice. I had been busy fighting before and had no time to collect it. I just waited until it was over and it would not be too late to collect it again. Yulo had a hunch that this reward would be unusual, and he might have to get used to it. Immediately, Yulo closed his eyes and his consciousness sank into the system. System, collect the reward. The next moment, there was a ding and the system appeared. Ding. Host seriously injured five elders, mission check in was successful. Get the reward. Top notch physique, get your reward. Top observation hockey. Get your reward. Top armament hockey. Get your reward. Top conquerors hockey. Get the reward. The use of the top six types of physical skills. The system beep sounded, and a warm current flowed into Yulo's body. Wandering among the limbs and bones, various abilities were strengthened. At the same time, a touch of coolness flowed into his mind, and he suddenly felt that the spiritual platform was clear and bright. After a while, the warmth and coolness dissipated, but the feeling of getting stronger was still there. Yulo clenched his fist and mobilized various abilities. After feeling it carefully, his face was filled with joy. Top level physique, according to the information fed back by the system, is comparable to Kaido's physique at his peak. In addition to the vast and majestic energy, blood and physical strength, there is also pure and rich vitality. The body's self-healing ability and the recovery speed of physical strength are much more effective than those awakened by the fruit and zone's abilities. With such a physique, in battle, he can be called immune to death's Xiaoqiang. Of course, the possibility of such a situation happening to Yulo is extremely slim. Secondly, the use of top-level six-position physical skills complements each other with top-level physical fitness. The effect of missing one of the two is greatly reduced. But in Yulo, top-notch physique and physical skills coexist, and he is already invincible in this regard. The most important thing is that the top six physical skills include the secret skills of the six movements. Like CP0 Admiral and Alot, Life Burning, which has been cast, is also included. But even if Yulo knew about this life burning, he wouldn't be able to use it. After all, this thing will make you weak after using it, which is really harmful to the body. There are still many other mysteries in this, which are much more reliable than the burning of life. Yulo cleared his mind and continued to feel hockey, trying to run Conqueror's hockey. Hockey, the son of Yulo, revealed a little bit of time. In another room, Rox, who had closed his eyes to relax, suddenly opened his eyes. Two sharp edges flashed in the abyss like eyes. Even if it was just a trace of aura, Rox could sense it. After all, his observation hockey, at the top level of strength, has been raping him for many years. Top hockey. Yulo boy. Haha, not bad, it's really fast. 
Rox smiled, murmured softly, and closed his eyes again. He had to admit that even he was surprised by Yulo's progress. Ha 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 ha, after Yulo felt it, he burst into laughter. Top Conqueror's hockey, is this what it feels like? His mind returned to his brain, his eyes shining with meaning. Yulo's strength has skyrocketed, and the first thing that comes to mind is Rox. Logically speaking, his current strength should be very close to Rox. Conqueror's hockey of top strength, Conqueror's hockey of Rox, that's about it. But Yulo will not underestimate himself. Rox has never shown his ability from beginning to end. Yulo would not believe it if Rox had no fruit ability. And he has the fruit ability, and has never used it, and has been hiding it. According to Yulo's guess, this is the most likely. After getting used to these rewards, Yulo came back to his senses, and the system's voice sounded again. Ding. Host kills Marine Admiral, achieving Admiral's first kill, and the mission is successfully checked in. Get a special reward. A designated Impure World Reincarnation card. The reward has been distributed, host can check it by himself. After all the rewards were distributed, the system's work was completed and silence fell. Impure World Reincarnation. It was this reward that made Yulo stunned, the look on his face changed, and he said to himself in surprise. This Impure World Reincarnation, he has impressions from the ninja world, a summoning forbidden technique. But what does this designation mean, and the Impure World Reincarnation designation card seems to be a one-time item. Open the system inventory. Check out the Impure World Reincarnation designated card. Yulo gave the order directly, and relevant information emerged. One-time special prop, Impure World Reincarnation designated card. Designated target. Ilot, dead state, after using this item, through the medium Impure World Reincarnation, the consciousness will be retained and the memory will be erased. It will have all the strength in life and will obey the host's orders. System prompt. Ilodi's corpse is the best reincarnation medium, which can eliminate side effects restrictions. After Yulo understood the detailed information, he was stunned on the spot. It's truly a system. This special reward is even rarer and more precious than the reward for checking in on a mission, and it's also very practical. Ha 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 ha, I like this. Will Admiral be a thug? Yulo looked excited, his eyes were full of surprise, and he couldn't help but laugh. The special reward is really awesome, resurrect Admiral Ilot, and will be loyal to him forever. The key is that his strength is still at its peak, and his subordinates have an Admiral level combat power. In the Rocks Pirate, he is enough to become a cadre, the kind second only to him. At the same time, Yulo was also happy. Fortunately, just to show off, he brought Ilo's body back intact. In this way, after performing Impure World Reincarnation on a complete corpse, there are no side effects. Use the Impure World Reincarnation designated card. While Ilo's body was still there, Yulo immediately used the props. After a moment, Ilot stood in front of Yulo respectfully. Still a familiar figure, but without the original memory. From a new consciousness, the consciousness that obeyed Yulo became Admiral Ilot. Since he's been resurrected, let's just call him Ilot. Yulo glanced at the people in front of him, holding his chin and thinking slightly. This is not a puppet controlled by others, but a living person. Strictly speaking, he is Ilot, but his memory has disappeared. Ha ha ha. The system is really omnipotent. What surprised Yulo the most was that the resurrected Ilot actually had fruit abilities. Logically speaking, at the moment of his death, Snow Snow Fruit had been returned to the sea. Come to think of it, all of this is a systematic method. The Impure World Reincarnation designated card did not disappear after being used once. Instead, its function has changed and it has become a containment card, used to contain Ilot. This retractable function is like a pet ball, which is much more convenient. Receive. With an order, the light flashed on the card, and Ilot was taken in. Yulo held the prop card, played with it for a while, and put it in the inventory. High in the sky, a pirate ship was sailing at an extremely fast speed. Just like when we arrived, in less than half a day, we were not far from Beehive Island. In the waters of Rock's Pirate, at the front line of defense, the pirates on the other two ships had already returned to Beehive Island after receiving notifications from other officers. Rocks, Newgate, Yulo, Shaki, Kaido and Linlin, stood at the front of the deck, facing the wind. The many crew members behind him were all radiant and relaxed. Beehive Island comes into view, getting bigger and bigger, and is very close. Finally, it slowed down and stopped above Honeycomb Island. Under Shiki's control, it slowly landed. On the coast of Beehive Island, a large number of pirates gathered here, looking at the sea level from a distance. Kadri's Silver Axe, John, Ochiku, Mr. Five and others have already received the news and are waiting here for the return of Rox and Guy. 
Let me just say, publicly beheading celestial dragons is a mission that outweighs the gains and losses. Captain Rocks will not do that. Look at it, you all, I guessed it right. With this move, I moved the tiger away from the mountain and went directly to Marine's lair. Ah ha 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 ha, on the shore, John crossed his arms with his chest, his wild laughter echoed, and his wretched face was full of pride. Although John was greedy for money, he was also very shrewd at times. Of course, I didn't really guess it, I just felt confused. Now that my doubts have been resolved, I took advantage of the situation and fired a round, flattering and then adding a second shot. Huh, John, you're just a hindsight, that's all you can do. As John's old enemy, Mr. Five snorted coldly and retorted with a look of disgust. Silver Axe and Ochiku glanced at John with the same disgust in their eyes. A surprise attack on Marine's lair makes my blood boil just thinking about it. Captain Rocks, it's true, such an amazing operation, why don't you let me go? After despising John, Ochiku first sighed, and then said with a look of regret. Marking Naval Headquarters Marine Ford is something worth showing off to every pirate, and Ochiku is no exception. Wake up. With your strength, you will be held back even if you go. John saw every opportunity and seized the opportunity to fight back, opening his mouth with a retort. Although he was telling the truth, Ochiku was embarrassed by the presence of so many people. John, you. Ochiku's face turned red, he glared at John, and was about to curse. Snort. However, the next moment, the sound suddenly stopped and turned into an angry roar. Ochiku is still angry, but John is right. The few remaining cadres are indeed worse than Yulo, Shaki, and Newgate. A place like naval headquarters would naturally have to send strong men there, and they had nothing to say about this. Mr. Five, who was standing aside, always felt uneasy after listening to Ochiku's complaints. The only one who is calm is Silver Axe, who has a stable personality. He was the first to play with rocks and is self-aware of himself. His strength is not among the top among cadres, but he even knows his talent. So I don't bother to worry about it so much, I can just continue to follow rocks and do something. Look, there's something in the sky. Suddenly, some people in the crowd noticed it at a glance, pointed at the sky and shouted loudly. This is Captain Yulo's ship, Captain Rocks and the others are back. Upon hearing this, Silver Axe quickly looked up and released observation hockey, sensing a familiar aura and a rich voice ringing in everyone's ears. Amidst a burst of noisy exclamations, a large pirate ship slowly descended and docked at the harbor on the coast. Rocks, Shaki, Newgate and others, as well as a group of crew members, stepped off the ship one after another. The steady Silver Axe had a smile on his face when he saw Rocks and others. Captain Rocks. Silver Axe took a step forward, but before he could speak, Ochiku rushed over with excitement on his face. He couldn't wait to know the status of the attack on naval headquarters. However, Rocks suddenly raised his hand and glanced around with a serious expression. The scene fell silent for an instant, Silver Axe's footsteps paused. Ochiku's words stopped abruptly, John, Mr. Five, Sha Chi and others also looked shocked. Shaki, take Mr. Point Five. After these six simple words fell, Shiki's figure jumped out. Silver Axe and others' expressions darkened. Although they didn't know what was going on, this was Rock's order. He could only watch with cold eyes, his eyes flashing with an inexplicable light. On the other hand, Mr. Five, when Rocks finished speaking, his inner uneasiness completely burst out. Captain Rocks, what is this? Mr. Five was shocked and his voice was full of panic. What's going on? Am I exposed? Boom. However, what he responded to was a heavy blow from Shaki. As a cadre of the regiment, he stood at the front, very close to Shaki. In panic, before he could react, he punched him hard and knocked him to the ground. Shaki, let me go. What are you doing? Mr. Five struggled fiercely and tried to use hockey to break free, but Shaki restrained his life gate and pinned him to the ground, unable to move. Captain Rocks, what does this mean? Mr. Five was escorted in front of Rocks, shouting with a look of horror on his face. Rocks, Newgate, looked on indifferently, Silver Axe, John and others, watched indifferently, silently. He he he, what do you mean? Look at this and you'll know what it means. A sneer sounded, Yulo jumped off the boat and threw a body on the ground. This is clearly the body of the captain who tipped off Mr. Five and colluded with him. Mr. Five's heart felt like it was falling into an abyss, and boundless fear came over him. On the cliff of the abyss, he was teetering and fell completely. Rox stretched out his palm, grabbed Mr. Five Feet's neck, and lifted him up. Under the strong palm force of his throat, Mr. Five's face turned red and he could not breathe. Captain Locks. Mr. Five's body was struggling instinctively, and his expression was extremely frightened. 
He saw the cold murderous intent in Rox's eyes, as if there was a bottomless abyss that wanted to eat him to the core. Unaware of this, Silver Axe, John, Ochaku and others' faces were full of surprise and astonishment. Rox grabs Mr. Five's hand and Armament Hockey is slowly covering it. Although they don't know anything, looking at this posture, Captain Rox is going to kill Mr. Five. Eating everything inside and outside, thinking you're hiding it well. This operation to divert the tiger away from the mountain, in addition to attacking the naval headquarters, is also to lure you into taking the bait. He he he. Rock's eyes were filled with coldness and murderous intent. The other one groped Mr. Five's body, and then took out a few phone bugs. This is. Silver Axe, John, Ochaku and others looked at the phone bugs and their expressions immediately darkened. Because, among these phone bugs, one is particularly delicate and small, and on the shell of this phone bug, there is a logo belonging to Marine printed on it. This is a special phone bug within Marine, but it appeared on Mr. Five, the cadre. There is no doubt that by now, things are obvious. Only then did everyone realize that Mr. Point Five turned out to be Marine's mole. How dare he do this to that person who is the last among the cadres in terms of strength, looks low key and never shows off his talents. Mr. Five never imagined that he would be exposed without knowing it. Captain, please let me go. He was completely unable to move under Rox's chokehold. He struggled in despair and begged for mercy in a whisper. Since discovering the mole lurking among the cadres, Rox has begun to lay out the plan. While implementing the plan, they are also investigating who is the mole. Now that the mole has been found, he actually dares to beg to be let go. Rox's eyes were filled with murderous intent, and his right hand was completely covered in color, and he pinched hard. Crack. The sound of broken bones was heard, Mr. Five's eyes stared outward, his begging for mercy stopped abruptly, and his head drooped. Cadre Mr. Point Five died, and the marine mole was killed. Silver Axe and others learned the truth and after witnessing this scene, their expressions were calm and unperturbed. Since you have become Marine's mole, you have to pay a price, and the only price you can pay is death. Even if this person is a subordinate who has been following him for more than ten years. Whoever encounters this will do the same thing as Rox. Yulo, Shaki, and Newgate stood aside and watched quietly. The next moment, Rox dropped the body, smiled and shouted loudly. Okay, kids, let's have a party. Then, walking towards the skeleton castle, Silver Axe and others quickly followed. Yulo walked behind and threw out a green fire, lighting Mr. Five Feet's body on fire. In a moment, it burned to ashes. The pirates present witnessed this scene with their own eyes and couldn't help but feel trembling. After Rox shouted, they were stunned for a moment and immediately cheered. Wow, brothers, there's a party. The attack on naval headquarters and the killing of marine insiders are truly amazing. Have a grand banquet to celebrate the captain and the others, and Guy will return home. However, some people are happy and some are worried. Among these ordinary crew members, there are still a few marine moles. They witnessed the fate of Mr. Five, and they couldn't help but feel worried when they thought that they were also moles. I am afraid that one day, the identity of the mole will be exposed and Mr. Five will end up like this. Little do they know that this is purely unfounded worry. Rox also knows that there are moles among the crew, but what he wants to eliminate are only the moles among the cadres. As for the ones on the bottom floor, there's no need to worry too much, it's not harmful at all. With the actions of all the crew members, the entire Rox pirate party started a grand banquet. Rox, Yulo and other cadres were seated on the high platform outside the skeleton castle. Silver Axe, John, Ochaku and others sat down one by one and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. From the time Rox got off the boat, they had been tight-lipped about everything that had happened. Mr. Five's death is nothing, but Rox's murderous intent is really scary. Now that there is a banquet, it is natural to relax. Rox smiled and raised his glass. It could be seen that he was in a good mood. Come on, drink. Newgate echoed from the side, and the cadres raised their heads and drank. Captain Rox, what is the specific situation of this attack on naval headquarters? I heard that the five elders took action. Ochaku asked excitedly with a look of anticipation on his face. He couldn't wait to know about the battle at naval headquarters. As Mr. Five Feet's matter dragged on, Ochaku felt very uncomfortable, and now he can finally hear it. Rox nodded slightly. As the captain of the pirate group, he must maintain his dignity. You can drink and eat meat with the crew, but you won't talk too much. Gia ha ha ha. Let me tell you, I, Shaki, have lived half my life, and the excitement of this battle is absolutely amazing. At this time, Shaki took over, and his high pitched voice echoed throughout the audience. Rox didn't say anything. Shaki, who likes liveliness, naturally did his part. This is a battle that he participated in. 
if he said it, it would be fun. Ochiku, Silver Axe, John, and other officers, as well as the crew below, all eyes were focused on Shaki. The lively scene quieted down, and everyone held their breath and waited inwardly. Even Kaido, Linlin, and Newgate pricked up their ears. Come on. Let me tell you, this time the attack on naval headquarters is not limited to five elders, but also a CP0 admiral, a field marshal, a total of seven admiral level experts. At the banquet, Golden Lion Shaki told the details of the attack on naval headquarters vividly and emotionally to all the crew members present. The first thing to talk about is naturally the rock's record. Silver Axe and other officers and crew members were all shocked by what they heard. It's so crazy, worthy of Captain Rocks. When snatching the gold from the sky, Mr. Five secretly communicated with Marine, leading to an ambush. Then, all that awaits Marine is Rock's revenge, and revenge is to destroy Marine's lair. While attacking the naval headquarters, we must also find out the hidden Marine moles among the regiment's cadres. Most importantly, the five elders, the highest powers in the world government, personally take part in the battle. Three admiral level warriors besieged rocks, and he easily suppressed three of them, killed one, and defeated another. Is this the combat power of the overlord of the sea, rocks? It's so terrifying. Gee ha ha ha, isn't it very shocking? There are even more unbelievable things. Kadri Yulo, one person was seriously injured and fell into coma, at the last moment of retreat. After talking about the strongest rocks, Shaki changed the topic passionately and talked about the most amazing Yulo. Silver Axe, John, Ochiku and others were all shaken, their hands were unsteady and they almost dropped their wine glasses. Yulo has grown to be a strong man in admiral combat power. The strength of the five elders are all admiral level. They can severely injure a person into coma. Isn't that stronger than the five elders? Less than half a month had passed since he wounded Admiral Herman. This godlike speed of progress is simply unbelievable and outrageous. At the last moment of evacuation, Yulo faced off against four of the five elders. Although their strength has been reduced, the siege of four people cannot be underestimated. Yulo hit the green fire thunder god, which severely injured one person and knocked him unconscious. The other three were injured and defeated. This has just begun, Shaki kept talking until the very end. The crew below were stunned when they heard this. Pictures appeared in everyone's minds, and the wine and meat in their hands stopped at their mouths. Newgate, Kaido and Linlin, drank wine calmly. On the other hand, Silver Axe, John, Ochaku and other cadres stared directly at Yulo. Is this even a human being? John looked shocked and murmured subconsciously, feeling a turmoil in his heart. However, all the cadres present had extraordinary ears and could hear everything clearly. Well, especially Yulo, after hearing these words, he couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth and glared at John. When John met Yulo's eyes, he felt a chill on his back and smiled tremblingly. Come, come, drink, drink. He didn't want to take a beating against Yulo's fierce fighting prowess. Ochaku's thoughts were in turmoil and he glanced at Yulo with complicated eyes. He knew that no matter how hard he practiced, he could not surpass Yulo. Yulo, how on earth do you practice? Silver Axe, who had always been steady, silently put down his glass and couldn't help but ask. Although he knew that the cultivation methods of strong people were very confidential and seemed very rude, he still asked. Even Newgate, Shaki, John, Ochaku and other cadres pricked up their ears. They don't want to miss this kind of question, what if Yulo answers it? Well, cultivation is over. Once you practice to a certain level, your breakthrough will be a matter of course. Yulo was stunned for a moment, then smiled. Silver Axe, Ochaku and others twitched their mouths when they heard this, looking very speechless. Why don't you just say it if you don't want to? There's no need to fool them. They are not fools. They have been practicing hard for decades, so how could they not know how difficult it is to break through? Hey, hey, what's your expression? That's really what it looks like. The same expressions from several people made Yulo very dissatisfied, and he shrugged to express his helplessness. The people at Silver Axe shook their heads and smiled bitterly, feeling quite helpless. Maybe Yulo's rapid progress is really just a matter of talent pervert. Yulo looked helpless and could only continue drinking. However, what he said was indeed true. He practiced hard for a few days, and the reward for punching in came to his account, and his breakthrough was a matter of course. Is it not? Rox, on the other hand, looked surprised after hearing these words. If this is true, Yulo's cultivation talent is truly unparalleled in the world. It's time for a celebratory banquet at Rox Pirate. On the sea not far from Beehive Island, the Jackson was parked on the sea. Roger, Rayleigh, Jabba, Bullet and others stood on the boat, using telescopes to observe the movement in the direction of Beehive Island. Besides them, 
there was another figure, dressed entirely in red, with a blood-red cloak on his back, and holding a slender umbrella. It is Baloric Redfield who will be known as the Aloof Red in the future. However, at this time, he looked much younger and his strength had not yet reached its peak. Baloric, I didn't expect you to come too, ha 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 ha. Roger put his hands on his hips and laughed boldly. Ha ha, there's so much noise this time, so naturally I'm here to join in the fun. The corners of Baloric's mouth turned up, and the smile on his face was quite strange. You really dare to come here. This place is not far from Beehive Island. You are not afraid of them chasing you. Rayleigh stood aside with a playful tone. HMPH. I was forced to leave New World because I was not strong enough before. With my current strength, there are only a few people in Rock's Pirate who have the strength to chase me. Baloric snorted coldly and said confidently. A few years ago, when I first entered the New World, I was not very strong. I offended the rocks pirate and was hunted all over the world, so I had no choice but to leave the new world. This made many pirates, people who had never met him, know about him. Baloric was very unhappy about this. Captain Roger, come and take a look, the latest information is really shocking. As he was talking, a crew member came to Roger at a trot and shouted with a look of horror on his face. It's probably the battle situation at naval headquarters. Don't be anxious. Speak slowly. Rayleigh frowned slightly and patted the crew member on the shoulder. Roger, Baloric, also looked over. They are standing here, waiting for information about the Rock's pirate attack on naval headquarters. This information makes me scalp numb. The crew members who received the information were still immersed in horror. Roger, Jabba, and Bullet couldn't help but feel uneasy when they saw this situation. Things may be beyond their expectations. Don't talk nonsense, just get to the point. Baloric, on the other hand, was a little impatient and scolded the crew. Yes. Dot yes, Rox led Yulo, Newgate, and Shaki to destroy the naval headquarters. The five elders were defeated. Two were seriously injured and fell into coma, and three were injured and defeated. There was also a field marshal, an admiral from the CP0 organization, who died in the battle. The crew member was shaken and broke into a cold sweat as he spoke, telling the specific battle situation. It was so amazing that several people were stunned when they heard it. The five elders personally took action, and they all. Jabba, Bullet, was stunned. The five elders, the most powerful people in the world government, were defeated. Rox and his team actually disabled five elders, either unconscious or seriously injured. This battle situation is completely different from what they expected. The five elders all have admiral strength. Plus the other two, there are seven admirals. Rox and that Yulo, are they really that powerful? Baloric's pupils shrank. The personal combat power in the intelligence made him feel unbelievable. This is no wonder for him, no one knows the strength of rocks. As for Yulo's strength, it is mostly hearsay and there is no definite idea. So, Baloric, it's hard to believe that Yulo, rocks, is this strong. Five elders defeated. Rayleigh's eyes sparkled with wisdom. Under normal circumstances, with the strength of seven admirals, the five elders would not be defeated. There must be some variables that they don't know about. Sure enough, after the crew member finished speaking, Rox and Yulo's record hit several people's hearts like a hammer. Huh. This Yulo is really a genius. Roger didn't react much, just breathed out slightly. He still remembers the encounter a few months ago. Seeing that Yulo was young at that time, Rayleigh was too careless and underestimated the enemy, and was caught off guard. However, Roger could see that Yulo's actual combat power was still inferior to Rayleigh's. He took a fancy to Yulo's talent and invited Yulo to join him. Although Yulo refused, he didn't and felt it was too regrettable. But now, Roger felt a trace of regret in his heart. In just a few months, Yulo left them behind, he still underestimated Yulo's talent. Rayleigh's face was gloomy, and besides being shocked, she was even more angry. He subconsciously touched the top of his head and gritted his teeth in anger. I thought his hair would grow back after a while. However, for some unknown reason, there was no movement at all for such a long time. To this day, he still has a bald head. Bullet on the side was also silent. Facing Yulo's strength, he simply felt powerless and had a feeling of being unsurpassable. Bullet is warlike by nature, and after hearing Yulo's name, he became interested in challenging. Yulo's successive victories and his incredible speed of getting stronger pushed him further and further away, making him feel powerless. Rox, Yulo, is ridiculously strong. It seems that if we want to continue to become stronger, we are still far away. Baloric came to his senses and muttered to himself. Roger, I'm leaving. See you later. Immediately, he left a word and left the Jackson. Only by quickly improving your strength can you not be afraid of Rock's pirate. 
The Loric's departure did not affect Roger and others, after all, the two parties were not familiar with each other. Yulo is so strong, rocks must be so scary. Jabba said in a deep voice, with deep fear in his eyes. On this sea, rocks and Yulo are probably invincible. The current comparison of combat power makes Rayleigh worried. In Rock's Pirate, Newgate, Shaki and other cadres are not counted. Rox and Yulo alone can defeat them all. The Rox Pirate is now the strongest force on the surface. Even naval headquarters is no match for Rox Pirate. At this moment, Roger, who was silent, suddenly burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha. This is the time to test us. It is our honor to encounter such a powerful enemy, otherwise it would be too boring. The heavy atmosphere was swept away, and Roger laughed wildly, with a faint sense of kingly power in his boundless heroic aura. Roger, you are so optimistic. Rayleigh was stunned, covering his forehead with his hand, and said helplessly. Faced with such a situation, only Roger could laugh heartlessly. Okay, it's time to leave, find a place to practice, and strive to become stronger quickly. Jabba is aware of the gap, and only by practicing hard can he narrow the gap in strength. Jabba is right, but before we dive into cultivation, the cooperation plan with Marine must be finalized. Roger made up his mind and turned around and walked towards the cabin. Rayleigh, Jabba, and Bullet all followed, having no problem with it. The power of Rock's pirate is now unstoppable. And, thinking about overthrowing the world government is even more dangerous. If the world government is really overthrown, there will definitely be riots at sea. This is not what they want to see, and it will also affect Roger's dream. Then the only way is to join forces with Marine to completely eliminate the Rock's pirate. Half a day later. Naval headquarters, Marine Ford. Sangoku, Garp and others in the large fleet have rushed back, and a large number of marine soldiers are clearing the ruins. In the temporary office on the back island, the room was filled with five elders, Kong, two admirals, Sengoku and others. Bang! Kong hung up the phone and cracked the table with his palm. Damn it! Kong's face was as gloomy as water, extremely ugly. Just now, the marine undercover hiding in Rock's Pirate reported the news of Mr. Five Feet's death. This is undoubtedly adding insult to injury for Kong. Mr. Five is the only cadre level marine mole in Rock's Pirate. At the beginning, Kong was Mr. Five who spent a lot of money to buy him off. Now that Mr. Five is dead, Kong will lose the information about the high ranking officials in Rock's Pirate. Kong. What's going on? Among the five elders, the three conscious old men, with their upper bodies wrapped in bandages, asked with a frown. Obviously, the three of them knew that Kong's expression must be something bad. My lords, the cadre level undercover agent I installed in Rock's Pirate has been exposed and executed. Kong relaxed and said weakly. This was the first time he felt how little hope there was. The three old men felt like something was stuck in their throats and were speechless for a moment. Even Sengoku, Garp, Zephyr, and Crane couldn't help but feel at rock bottom. Everyone here is a high level figure, and they know what it means when the highest ranking undercover agent dies. From now on, they will no longer get information from the enemy's high-level officials. Once the intelligence opportunity is lost, facing the Rock's pirate, they can only run around like a headless chicken. The attack by Rocks and his party and the destruction of naval headquarters are living examples. The information was obtained in advance, and the five elders even took action personally. Even so, naval headquarters remains the same and cannot escape the end of destruction. Such an ending is considered light. If it were Marie Joy's, the situation would only be more serious. Now that the source of intelligence has been lost, who can guarantee whether there will be a next time, whether it will be Marie Joy's next time? Therefore, naval headquarters and world government have become passive in their actions. Everyone present knew the reason and fell into silence for a long time. Marshal Kong, Lord Five Elders, Rock's Pirate's behavior is so abominable and absolutely insane. The naval headquarters is in ruins, and Senior Alo died, we must take action. The pirates cannot be allowed to go unpunished, and Marine's justice cannot be tarnished. The young Garp has a strong sense of justice. The actions of Rocks and others made his heart of justice burn, and his words were full of murderous intent. Sangoku on the side lowered his eyes and agreed very much with Garp's words, but felt that he should be more cautious and think long term. However, Sangoku didn't speak, he was waiting for his boss to speak. After all, among the group of people in the room, they have the least say. Lord Five Elders, the threats of the Rocks Pirate must be well known to the adults. If we continue to let it go, it will definitely be a disaster for the sea, and the consequences will be unimaginable. Before they become stronger, I think they must be eliminated as soon as possible at all costs. As soon as Kong opened his mouth, everyone's attention shifted. Sengoku, 
Garp, Zephyr, Crane, their eyes lit up as if they saw hope. Herman and Quincy, the two admirals were silent, their eyes flickering. The three old men had expressionless faces, making eye contact with each other, and listened quietly. Everyone must be aware of the combat capabilities of Rox and Yulo, plus Shaki, Newgate and other cadres. The Marines' high-level combat power alone is not enough to eliminate the Rox pirate. So, Lord Five Elders, please ask the government to assist Marine, plus the governments. Kong was talking when he was suddenly interrupted. All right. It was the old man in a suit who spoke, and Kong was interrupted by a soft drink. Kong was startled, his lips moved, and he stopped speaking somewhat unwillingly. The naval headquarters was attacked. Do you know why we all took action personally? The leader, the old man with glasses, asked calmly with a calm expression. Kong was stunned by this question, and everyone was also stunned. I know what you're thinking. Naval headquarters Marineford is the gateway to world government. You fell into a trap and left naval headquarters empty of troops. It makes sense for the person with the highest authority to take action personally. The old man with glasses glanced around. Kong, Sengoku and others were also lost in thought. But this is only one of them, the most superficial one. The original operation to rescue the Celestial Dragons was to find out the strength of Rock's group. The five of us have the same purpose. If you don't come back in time, we will have to take action. It's just that Rox and his gang are a bit stronger than expected. The old man with glasses couldn't help but frowned at the end. The old man in a suit and the old man with a long beard couldn't help but sigh in their hearts. The five of them had a decisive attitude, but they didn't expect to be beaten to a pulp. Master Five Elders, what are the plans for the future? The threat posed by Rox and his gang is obvious and we must fight back. Sangoku thought for a moment and then asked in a deep voice. Among the people present, the words of the three old men were undoubtedly the most powerful. Kong was also thinking about Sengoku's problem, and he looked at the three old men. What five elders said clearly made him want to fight back, he still had to obey his superiors. Before naval headquarters was attacked, the five of us had already formulated a plan to target Rock's group. But no one expected that such a change would occur, that it was just an interlude and the plan would continue. The five of us are personally managing it, and it will take some time to brew. You all know the strength of Rock's Pirate. If you want to destroy the Rock's Pirate, you must be prepared to kill them with one strike. Having said this, the three old men stood up and prepared to return to Marie Joy's. They still have to recover from their injuries, otherwise people like Marine would be completely dreaming. During this period, Marine will rest and recuperate. Kong understood clearly and made his current choice. Isn't the mess in naval headquarters enough for you to clean up? We will inform you of the specific planned actions. The old man with glasses nodded slightly, and the three of them walked out of the conference room. After the five elders left, the people in the room were all Marine senior executives. Marshal Kong, do we really have to wait? What's the plan? Garp jumped out first, with a look of dissatisfaction on his face. He has no favorable opinion of the Celestial Dragons, nor the five elders. Garp is somewhat skeptical of this thankless job. Garp, don't worry. The Rocks Pirate has threatened the rule of the world government. For the benefit of the world government, the government is working harder than Marine to eradicate rocks. Sangoku patted his friend's shoulder and said sincerely. As expected of the resourceful General Sangoku, he sees things more clearly than Garp. Garp listened to his comrade's words and thought of the misery of the five elders, so he obediently shut his mouth. What about Alot Senpei? Zephyr, who had been silent all this time, suddenly spoke in a low voice. Ailot is his teacher, just like Garp and Aokiji in the future. The five elders gave the right words, and Kong felt more relaxed, but Ilo's death made him silent again. Herman, Sengoku, Garp, Quincy and others, their eyes darken. Ilot's sacrifice can be said to be an accident. But at this juncture, for five elders' plan, the plan to avenge him will also be postponed. More or less, they all felt a little guilty. Ilo's sacrifice should not be made public for the time being to prevent internal chaos within Marine. As for the pirates, will they spread the news and let it ferment naturally? After a moment of silence, Kong in the main seat spoke in a low tone. I don't know why, but there is always a trace of regret in his heart that lingers. When the day comes, I will kill Yulo with my own hands and avenge Alot. There was a pause in his tone. Driven by the murderous intention, the words, Kong, were pronounced loudly, and a ferocious look flashed across his face. The marshal himself spoke, but Zephyr had nothing to say. Kong's determination to kill actually made him feel inexplicably at ease. Unknowingly, this non-killing admiral had murderous intentions for the first time. Sangoku, you go back and continue training. 
you must improve your strength as much as possible before the action plan is implemented. You don't need to worry about the mess at naval headquarters. If there is no emergency, hurry up and complete the special training. Kong's eyes were firm and his tone was unquestionable. This period of rest and recuperation is Marine's only chance to make a comeback before the plan actually takes action. Sengoku, Garp, and Zephyr are half trained. Although his strength is new to Admiral, he is still a bit unsatisfied against Yulo and others. Yes. Sengoku and the others obeyed the order and retreated wisely. They know very well that only by completing special training and advancing to the Admiral level can they be qualified to participate in high level battles. In the conference room, only Marshal Kong, Herman, Quincy, and the two admirals were left. You two, we have to clean up this mess. Kong's brows were furrowed, and he had been lost in thought. Rock's pirate, the heaviest burden on our shoulders has been half lifted. His mind finally felt a little relaxed, but the mess that followed gave Kong another headache. Naval headquarters Marine Ford, attacked and reduced to rubble, news has spread throughout the New World. There is no doubt that the whole world is shocked. The instigator, Rock's pirate, is astonishing to talk about. The ferocity of Rocks and the madness of the regiment cadres are simply appalling. Rocks led several officers and captain level elite pirates to attack the naval headquarters. The highest authority in the world government, the five elders, appeared in person to fight, with a total of seven admiral fighting forces. In the end, they were defeated. Rocks and three officers killed two admirals. The five elders were defeated, two were seriously injured and unconscious, and three were injured and defeated. Rocks and his group left in style, intact. The underground world in various countries saw the benefits and spread the news like crazy. Even some battle images were spread at sea. In addition to rocks, the three leaders are Whitebeard Newgate, Golden Lion Shaki, and the youngest leader Yulo. Rocks, the overlord of the generation, showed amazing combat power, easily defeating one against three, killing one person and seriously injuring another. All the forces at sea saw rocks' true overlord level combat power. Whitebeard Newgate and Golden Lion Shaki each competed against five elders and never fell behind. Two pirates that are well known to the world, Admiral's combat prowess is worthy of his name and shocking enough. The most eye catching is Yulo, a young cadre who has risen rapidly. He actually beat one of the five elders alone and was seriously injured until he fell into a coma. At the last moment of retreat, the god came down and struck four blows, directly defeating the four old men. Showing his combat power beyond Shaki and Newgate, he is the first person under rocks. Yulo's rise and deeds were widely publicized. His talent was unparalleled in the sea, and he was unparalleled in the limelight for a while. The five elders were seriously injured, the naval headquarters was destroyed, and the world government was disgraced. The participating countries of New World are very worried and worried about the future of their country. Even a few small and weak countries are already considering surrendering. This battle completely established the Rocks Pirate as a well deserved maritime supremacy. The name of the Overlord of Rocks, Yulo, Shaki, and Newgate are also known as legendary pirates. Except for Rocks, the bounties of the three people have skyrocketed. Yulo's bounty has soared from the first 1.5 billion to 2.5 billion. He was even called Chingyan Yulo by Marine. The admirers on the sea felt it was not loud enough. There are many pirates who practice swordsmanship, and even a few great swordsmen. He thinks that Yulo's black sword and swordsmanship are not enough to match even the world's greatest swordsman. With one skill, the dragon raises his head, which makes him superb. His swordsmanship is unfathomable, comparable to the gods among swordsmen. Therefore, Yulo was directly called the Sword God. As the two names were passed down, many people called him, Ching Yan Sword God. Under the operation of the Dark World, a large number of members took risks and spread the newspapers all over the world. In a few days, Blue Flame Sword God, Yulo will be heard in every corner of the world. Time flies by like a flash, and a week has passed. News of the destruction of naval headquarters spread throughout the sea. The world outside the Grand Line was also in panic. The Fishmen Island is located under the sea surface of the Sabodi Islands, at a depth of 10,000 meters. It's not far from naval headquarters, so news naturally comes faster. Destroy the naval headquarters. Dot the Blue Flame Sword God. Young Neptune, holding the latest newspaper, murmured with a dull expression. The world on the sea is really crazy. Strong pirates emerge one after another, and the rocks pirate is rampant. Naval headquarters said it was gone and it was better to stay safe at the bottom of the sea. Amazon Lily, the daughter island of the Com Belt. Rocks pirate, New World Overlord, the contemporary Emperor Gloriosa's short body was trembling, and he was covered in cold sweat. They were afraid that the rocks pirate would find them, the nine snakes. 
West Blue, the land of flowers. Qingzhou, the 12th generation pillar of the Babao Navy, also received the news. After defeating the five elders and destroying the naval headquarters, the rocks pirate is too strong. Qingzhou's son first exclaimed in surprise, and then thought with a worried look on his face. Rocks pirate, you won't come looking for us. His tone was filled with surprise and uncertainty, and he broke into a cold sweat just thinking about it. After all, no matter how powerful the sea is, who wants to be targeted by rocks? What are you thinking about? The mountains are high and the emperor is far away. The overlord of the new world will like West Blue. Qingzhou came back to her senses. Although her eyes were slightly narrowed, she was not that worried. Ha ha ha, that's right. Qingzhou's son thought about it for a while, and then figured it out immediately. Rock's pirate has dominated the new world for more than ten years, but it has never been to the world. And in the capital of the Seven Waters, the horned fishman Tom was so frightened that he broke into a cold sweat and stopped building a boat. Scenes like this are happening everywhere. North Blue and South Blue, the same is true. Even the most peaceful East Blue has caused quite a stir. The name of Yulo, the Blue Flame Sword God, spread throughout the kingdoms and pirate groups. Rock's pirate, a young cadre, became a god in one battle and became famous throughout the world. Combined with his monster talent, he is as famous as Rock's. As a person involved, Yulo did not pay attention to everything at sea. In the sea near Beehive Island, there is an uninhabited desert island. All the cadres and elites in Rock's Pirate, including Rock's, are gathered here. At the end of the celebration banquet, Shaki, who was drunk, made a fuss and wanted to see Yulo's strength, so he asked Newgate to fight. Newgate drank a lot and agreed without thinking. Silver Axe, John, Ochaku and others are even more eager. So, after the celebration banquet was held, we came here the next day. On the deserted island, the wind is strong and there are broken rocks everywhere. Rocks, Shaki, Silver Axe and others stood on the shore and watched. In the center of the desert island, two figures were fighting. There was no bells and whistles, it was just a head on confrontation. These two figures are Yulo and Newgate. The two fought with bare hands, no conqueror's hockey, and no swordsmanship. Yulo performed the six style taijutsu, and Newgate used his fruit ability. Yulo, look at this move. Newgate shouted loudly, charged quickly, and was in front of Yulo in an instant. Only the index finger of his right hand was extended, which was wrapped in a white air ball. But the difference is that this white shockwave has a sharp feeling. Wrapped around his index finger, they gathered together a little, condensing but not dispersing. Newgate's finger directly broke the air and stabbed Yulo in front of him. It did not set off a large scale shockwave, but was like a sharp arrow piercing. This move is not impressive enough. Six Styles Finger Pistol Hanyu. Facing the sharp shockwave, Yulo raised the corners of his mouth, laughed wildly, and took action. It is also the index finger of the right hand, used in the top six forms of physical skills. Yulo's fingers faced each other, and the white mist lingered and solidified. His fingers were like cold jade, with traces of white cold air floating around. This is an extended technique that Yulo created after mastering the top level applications. On the basis of penetrating strength, the chi in the six style Taishu ultimate is condensed on the fingers. To achieve the legend, it is as solid as cold jade and as strong as black iron. The power of penetrating force is several times stronger than the basic finger pistol. While extremely offensive, the defense is also watertight. Bang! The two fingers touched, the finger strength penetrated everything, the sharp vibration force, the airflow exploded under the collision. In an instant, the shock wave dissipated, and Newgate staggered back. Yulo, on the other hand, stood still, as if rooted to the ground. Although the strength on the pointing finger has dissipated, there is still a chill. Observing carefully, the cold air lingers, and the fingers are as cold as jade. Gia ha ha ha, Newgate, can you do it? Why can't you take any move? This is the blue flame sword god with a bounty of 2.5 billion, it doesn't matter if you can't defeat him. Golden Lion Shaki was holding the newspaper and suddenly saw this scene and turned on the crazy mocking mode. Seeing his old enemy Newgate being violently crushed by Yulo, he was extremely happy about his misfortune. After this week, let alone how happy I am. Yulo is really secretive. If he hadn't only used physical skills, who would have thought that Marine Six Styles would be trained to the top by him? Silver Axe, who has always been steady, also sincerely praised and approved from the bottom of his heart. Only after seeing it with your own eyes can you understand the horror of Yulo. In addition to the great swordsman swordsmanship, Qinglian's Earth Core Fire, and Conqueror's Hockey. Yulo's physical skills are so powerful that he has reached the top level. Moreover, it is recognized as the most difficult to practice on the sea, 
and is secretly taught by the world government, the six style taijutsu. Ha 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 ha, silver axe. I remember back then, you also practiced six moves, right? John rolled his eyes and joked with a smile. The six postures are not ordinary physical skills. Even if you go through thousands of exercises, you will only improve slowly. Look at the entire marine, who is a grandmaster in the sixth form. He is not an extremely talented person, but he has been practicing for more than ten years. Silver Axe shook his head helplessly and smiled bitterly, saying that he would not pick up any pot. He had practiced the six movements for a long time, and he was able to break through to the intermediate level. He felt that his progress was too slow, so he gave up on the six movements and changed to other physical techniques. Silver Axe, John and others continued to watch. Newgate, use that move. Otherwise you can't do anything to me. Let me see how the new moves are being developed in the past few days. Yulo retracted his finger, looked at Newgate in the distance, smiled and told the truth. The reason why they fought was not to decide the outcome, but to help Newgate and hone his new moves. Gu la la la, I happen to be hungry too. Let's go eat after finishing this move. I agree, let's take action, spiral shockwave. Newgate's signature move was to raise his fist high and a white ball of air appeared. Click, click, click. The air began to crack, and transparent cracks appeared. Gu la la la. Newgate laughed wildly, and the white vibrating air mass was no longer static and began to rotate and flow. The air that was originally just cracked was directly stirred into pieces. The shock wave that escaped did not go straight, but started to rotate crazily like a whirlwind. Yulo, take the move. Newgate roared and punched out his fist from a distance. Spiraling shock waves, rampaging towards Yulo. The shock waves rotating at extremely high speeds are even more destructive and distorted. It crushed the air along the way and turned it into a swirling airflow. A ravine was plowed directly into the ground wherever it passed. As expected of the power of shock, it smells of destruction. Today I want you to see the power of top-level physical skills, defeating ability users is a piece of cake. Yulo's legs are slightly open, his knees are slightly bent, and the six-position physical technique is operating, and white mist is floating. Under the rising white mist, the power in the body gathered, and the skin began to turn red. Six styles six king's spear. Make fists with both hands, clasp your hands in front of you, and push out violently. Boom. The power in Yulo's body was like a galloping horse, and the sound was deafening. A white shock wave was as powerful as a cannon coming out of its barrel. From his fists, he rushed straight towards the shock wave. This is. Dot the secret of physical skills, we still underestimated Yulo. Silver Axe's pupils shrank and he exclaimed with a ghostly expression on his face. Immediately, he returned to normal, as if he had figured it out, and sighed with a wry smile. What happened to the secret of physical skills? Seeing Silver Axe's posture, John asked doubtfully. His strength mainly lies in swordsmanship and hockey, so he doesn't know much about taijutsu. John, you are such a disgrace. Ochaku on the side couldn't help but complained when he saw this. This is considered common sense. Even if you don't know physical skills, you don't know it. Actually, it's very easy to understand. Top level 6 style taijutsu is equivalent to top level hockey strength. The secret of the 6 style taijutsu is the use of the top level 6 style taijutsu, which is equivalent to the top level hockey use. Silver Axe has also studied the 6 forms and expressed his understanding. The comparison between 6 styles and hockey gave John a clear understanding, and he almost shouted, F asterisk K. He has not even reached the top level. Yulo has already used it at the top level. Is this the world of genius? As expected, we are people from two worlds. Six styles. Seems different. Shaki was shocked and squinted his eyes in thought. He thought about the CP0 admiral, who also used six styles. But the effect is different. CP0 burns life to forcibly increase the strength. On the other hand, Yulo's six king's spear is purely offensive. This is the power of the secret of physical arts, a power that is really desirable. Shiki's passion rose, but died down immediately. He is not as good as Yulo, just the fruit ability, swordsmanship and hockey are enough for him to practice. Rox, who was watching the battle silently, actually felt a sense of fighting spirit. His level of physical skills is about this level. In terms of physical skills alone, they are already on par with him. Yulo is really a guy who keeps surprising him. Just when everyone's thoughts were racing, boom. The two energies clashed, and the sound resounded throughout the sky. The intense entanglement of energy caused flying sand and rocks. The strong air current stirred up, enveloping the flying sand and gravel, and spread it around the desert island. Boom! 
The sky shook and the whole island trembled. Centered on the collision site, the ground began to fall apart. The airflow raged toward the outside of the island, and the surrounding trees broke in half. The next moment, there was an explosion and the shock wave shattered. The white shock wave still had residual power and shot toward Newgate at an unabated speed. Sure enough, it still doesn't work. Newgate whispered and activated the shock wave again. Click, click, click. The sound of earth cracking sounded and disappeared after a moment. The impact of the white energy wave pushed Newgate back dozens of meters before dissipating. The ground was dilapidated, with two deep ravines, the marks of Newgate's retreat. Gu la la la, that's it. Let's go back and start dinner. Newgate took off the impact, stabilized his body and said, not feeling discouraged at all. The newly developed spiral shockwave is indeed several times more powerful. But in terms of overall strength, he still can't compare to Yulo. This situation is quite expected, good. Yulo responded with a smile without saying any nonsense. In terms of strength, Newgate is also a strong man and can still figure it out. The diffuse dust fell and the air currents dissipated. Yulo and Newgate appeared in a flash. Newgate, how do you feel? Seeing Newgate's progress, Rox was a little curious. Golden Lion Shaki, Silver Axe and other cadres also looked over. Gu la la la, this is all thanks to Yulo. If it weren't for his suggestion, my fruit ability development would probably be quite limited. The abilities I develop myself are mostly large-scale moves, which are too scattered on a single target. But this spiral shockwave perfectly solves this problem. The power of a single unit is several times stronger. I guess if I practice for a while, it won't be a problem to become ten times more powerful. Newgate gained insights from the battle and truthfully told his own situation, and even he couldn't help but feel happy. Not bad. Very good. After hearing this, Rox smiled and praised him twice. However, the first sentence praises Newgate, and the second sentence naturally praises Yulo. This guy Newgate is so lucky. Shaki was on the sidelines, muttering jealously, and he admitted that he was envious. Originally, in the pirate group, Newgate was slightly ahead of him, and his strength was slightly better than that of him. In the past, Shaki had to compete, but now Newgate has become stronger. He was still trying to gain some ground and build up his strength first. It's really eye-opening. Not only do you have great talent in cultivation, but you also have ideas for developing your abilities. Silver Axe said in admiration that even he wanted Yulo to help him develop his abilities. But unfortunately, he is not an esper, but he is very grand master in taijutsu. At this thought, Silver Axe's eyes couldn't help but heat up. Yulo's physical skills are also superb, maybe he can help him. What he didn't know was that Shaki, John and others, and even Kaido, had the same idea. Yulo stood calmly, with a calm expression on his face, turning a blind eye to everyone's gaze. That's it for this time. Go back and hold a cadre meeting. There are important tasks next. Rox spoke in time to dispel their thoughts. And it is true that he has important actions that cannot be wasted here. After a while, Rox and cadres sat around the conference table in the Skull Castle. This meeting was missing Mr. Five, but Kaido was invited to attend. We at Rox Pirate, Marine and World Government are now incompatible with each other. Marine and the Five Elders are both recuperating. It won't take too long. There will definitely be a decisive battle between us and them. Rox just said two words, and the faces of the cadres present turned serious. They have been traversing the sea for many years, so they naturally understand the reason. However, Captain Rox and Yulo's strength make them confident and feel fearless. I have special things to do in the next period of time, and you should not be idle. Newgate and John's team, Shaki and Ochaku's team, Silver Axe and Linlin, and Kaido's team will plunder all the forces in the New World. Complete the mission as quickly as possible, use the treasure to purchase weapons and devil fruit from the underground black market, and enhance the strength of the entire crew. Of course, you must also strive to improve your strength. If there are special circumstances during this period, just contact me via phone. Rox sat in the main seat and kept giving orders. The cadres listened quietly, and no one had any objections. This meeting is very simple, it is to prepare for the decisive battle. As for this so-called decisive battle, the cadres here firmly believe it. The five elders at the pinnacle of power were all defeated by the pirates. The naval headquarters, which had stood at sea for hundreds of years, was also destroyed. If the world government does not take action, the hearts and minds of the participating countries will fall apart. This situation is definitely not what the world government wants to see. If it threatens government rule, the five elders will definitely take action. Under the temporary calm before us, a fierce storm is brewing. 
Soon, the meeting ended and the cadres left one after another. In the conference room, only Yulo and Rox were left. Newgate, Shaki and others didn't find it strange either. After all, Yulo is so strong, he should have a more important task. Yulo looked at Rox and said helplessly, Captain Rox, I won't ask for it again this time. Send me a special mission. Although he asked this, Yulo felt that it must be the case. Sure enough, Rox smiled. Ha 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 ha, you guessed it right, there is a mission that belongs to you. Rox looked at Yulo and replied with certainty. No matter how strong Yulo is, he is still a cadre in the group, how can he not use it? This mission is going to West Blue and is not within the scope of New World. Their strength is somewhat different. To prevent marine people from causing trouble, it is safer to leave it to you. With your strength, even three admirals may not be able to stop you. Rox smiled and said truthfully. When Yulo heard this, he couldn't help but nodded, expressing his agreement. Although Rox Pirate's reputation shakes the entire sea. However, the coverage of the power has not yet reached West Blue. If the location is in the New World, Rox Pirate territory, any cadre can do the job. And for them to go to West Blue, there is no guarantee that Marine will not intercept them. Even with Newgate's strength, it was a bit too reluctant to face the interception of more than one admiral, who must have been admiral. At the critical juncture of the situation, Rox is not allowed to lose combat power. In the blink of an eye, Yulo had a flash of inspiration and discovered important information. The whole group plunders the treasure, the mission location is West Blue. The target of this operation won't be the ice continent, right? Yulo had a flash of inspiration and blurted out. This key information immediately reminded him of West Blue's ice continent. It seems that you also know something about the treasure of the ice continent. The treasure passed down for eleven generations is comparable to the heavenly gold of a great country. If it hadn't been far away in West Blue, I would have snatched it from him. Rox was stunned for a moment, looking a little surprised, and said a few words briefly. Since Yulo has understood it, he must know its value, so there is no need to waste a lot of words. I understand. Let's leave tomorrow. Yulo didn't waste any time, he agreed, got up and walked out. It has been half a year since I came to the pirate world. The farthest place I went was naval headquarters. This action was in West Blue, so I just went out to take a look. Early the next morning, Yulo walked out of his residence. On the way to the coastal bay, I found that the island was quite depressed. On weekdays, all the crew members chatting or training disappeared. Including Newgate, Shaki, Silver Axe and others, none of them are on the island. Only Rock's crew is left guarding the Hive Island. Yulo came to the bay and saw that more than half of the moored boat was missing. He couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. Everyone is really trying their best. Ronnie, Al, out to sea. Yulo jumped lightly and came to the deck. Okay, boss. Boss, you're here. Ronnie and Al stopped their training and prepared to launch the ship. This boat is too slow, let's look at the boss. As soon as he finished speaking, flames spurted out from the stern of the ship, and the huge hull moved. It was as fast as a assault boat, speeding through the waves on the sea. As expected of Master Yulo, is this the Qinglian Earth Core fire? The skills developed by Yulo Sama are really magical and ever changing. The ship's sudden acceleration caused the crew members to sway. These are not Yulo's crew, but ones sent to him by rocks. After all, it's a long way to go to West Blue, so someone has to help. In the cabin room, Yulo looked at the three people in front of him. After leaving New World, find a desert island and practice well with Ilot. You two don't need to participate in the Battle of Rocks Pirate. Yulo pointed at Ilot and said to Ronnie and Al. Okay, boss, we listen to you. The two looked at each other, a flash of determination flashed, and they agreed without hesitation. Since you know that your own strength is not enough, you should make becoming stronger your primary goal. West Blue is far outside New World, and even if it speeds up, it will take several days. Three days later, West Blue waters, it's really far away, it took us three days to get there. That should be the coastline of the Kingdom of Flowers. Yulo stood on the bow of the boat, looking at the faint black lines on the distant sea. Marine and the world government must have received the news too. I just don't know if there are any, so I sent strong men to intercept and kill me. If we really send someone here, these people will be a complete burden. Yulo held his chin with one hand and murmured thoughtfully. To be honest, he very much hoped that someone would ambush and intercept him. Not only can you enjoy the fun of fighting, but you may also be able to trigger mission check-ins. Of course, this is not something he can decide, he just hopes so. In addition, Yulo was unable to complain that the pirates on the ship were all extremely weak. If anything happens, it won't be of any use. 
Yulo finally understood that he had to do it himself when it came to plundering the treasure. These crew members sent by rocks are purely here to serve as porters and have no combat value at all. A few hours later, Yulo's ship sailed into the waters of the Kingdom of Flowers. The soldiers on the coast of the Kingdom of Flowers immediately entered a state of alert. Reporting to the commander, a very large pirate ship has been discovered and entered our monitoring waters. When the officer heard this, his expression was shocked. Super. Large pirate ship, in the entire West Blue, there are only a few large pirate ships, let alone super large pirate ships. Hurry up and identify which pirate group it is. He had an ominous premonition. The next moment, a stuttering voice sounded. Sir, something bad has happened, it's the Rock. S. Pirates. Rock's reputation was so fierce that all the soldiers fell into panic. Go. Report. Dot the king. The officer was so shocked that he collapsed on the ground and said tremblingly. Don't bother, I'll go there myself. A thunderous sound exploded, and Yulo's figure arrived in an instant. Under the guidance of the soldier commander, he went straight to the palace of the Kingdom of Flowers. In the palace, the king was enjoying himself, with birds singing and dancing around him. Suddenly, a scream came from outside the palace. Before the king could get angry, the door was knocked open and flew towards the king. The guards on the side saw this and hurriedly protected the king. Bang! The captain of the soldiers was thrown before the king by Yulo. Who are you? How brave are you to break into the palace without permission? Let's see if Lousy doesn't chop you into pieces and feed you to the dogs. The king looked at the blurry figure at the gate, his face turned red with anger, and he yelled crazily. It's rare to find a few beauties, and I just feel like I'm ready to go. Unexpectedly, there was a loud noise, which frightened the little brother. And he even smashed the palace gate. This thing is so expensive. Yulo frowned, and when he heard the curse words, he couldn't help but feel murderous intention. Okay, you bitch, you're so brave. Yulo's figure flashed, and when he reappeared, he had already trampled the king under his feet. Where are the palace guards? Why don't you hurry up and rescue Lousy? Catch this guy, I will make his life worse than death. The king suffered such insults that he completely lost his mind. Stop shouting, the guards are right outside. But they. Before Yulo finished speaking, he waved his left hand lightly. Puff. Puff. In an instant, the heads of the only two remaining guards fell to the ground. All dead. Yulo's eyes flashed fiercely, scaring the king into silence. You. Dot who are you, and why are you breaking into my palace? The king obeyed, and a smile appeared on his face, as if he was crying. After seeing Yulo's strength, he just wanted to save the dog's life. Rock's pirate, Kadri Yulo. Of course, you can also call him Chingyan Sword God. Rock's pirate still has a very vicious reputation. Maybe if Yulo tells his name truthfully, things will be easier to handle. What? L. K. After the king exclaimed, his voice suddenly stopped and he fainted from fright. Rock's pirate, blue flame sword god Yulo, how could he not know? The overlord of the new world destroyed the naval headquarters and defeated the five elders. For the kingdom of flowers, it is a nightmare. Well, Yulo was speechless at this scene. Rock's pirate, and his name, seemed to be overused. This king is so cowardly, is he really that scary? Yulo punched the king awake, and the king wanted to die. Don't. Don't kill me. I finally fainted. Why did you wake me up again? Facing your fears is simply impossible. If you don't want to die, take me to the ice continent. Four words. Ice continent. The king's pupils shrank suddenly. There was a stimulation in my mind, and my thinking became clearer. Rock's pirate, turns out to be here for the treasure. In such a huge flower country, only the ice continent can allow Rock's pirate to mobilize forces like this. He did not hesitate to send the strongest cadre, the blue flame sword god Yulo. This, for a moment, the king's eyes flickered and he hesitated. Under his rule, how could he not be tempted by such a huge treasure? Although the treasure of the ice continent was inherited by the eight treasures navy. But in the kingdom of flowers, he has long regarded it as his own. Ever since he ascended the throne, he has been coveting the ice continent. However, the backbone of the Babao navy is a big pirate with a bounty of 500 million. The king was afraid of Dongliang Qingzhao and hesitated before taking action. If Rock's pirate snatched it away, he would not be willing to do so just thinking about it. Master Yulo, please don't embarrass me. The ice continent belongs to the eight treasure navy, and I, the king, don't dare to go there. The king gritted his teeth, decided to take a gamble, and said sadly with a sad face. At this moment, the desire for treasure in the king's heart was no weaker than the desire for survival. 
All these disguises are invisible to Yulo. I'll just repeat it once, don't talk nonsense. Yulo's tone was impatient. The territory of the Kingdom of Flowers was not small, and he didn't know its location clearly. In order to save some effort, I approached the king and played tricks on me. With gentle pressure under his feet, the king felt as if he had been hit hard. With a pop, blood spurted out. Don't. Don't kill me, I'll take you there, I'll take you there. Under the force of the kick, the king almost lost his temper and shouted incomprehensibly for mercy. He really felt that if he pressed harder, he would be able to see the king of hell. Just when Yulo mentioned the king and was about to leave. At the gate of the palace, a tall man walked in swaggeringly surrounded by a group of people. This is my territory. Even the people from Rock's Pirate cannot humiliate our king like this. If you have anything to do with Lousy. The tall man stared at the back next to the throne and shouted arrogantly. Hidden among the soldiers on the coast were his men. After identifying the pirate flag, he received the message. Immediately he was shocked, his heart was full of worry, and he beat his son hard. What a coincidence, my son's crow's mouth really hit the mark. But it also means that he doesn't know who it is, he only knows that it's someone from Rock's Pirate. He was a little worried at first, but now looking at the young figure next to the throne, he felt a little relieved. Fortunately, West Blue is relatively remote and not worth visiting. A mere brat from Rock's Pirate, he still poses no threat. Haha, <laughs> green pepper of the cone. A sneer sounded, and an indifferent voice came. Yulo slowly turned around and looked directly at the person at the door, his eyes flashing sharply. Yes, the person coming is exactly the leader of the violent group. The twelfth generation pillar of the Babao Navy, known as the leader of the cone, Qing Zhao. Relying on the powerful ancestral eight punches, he led the eight treasure navy to conquer the West Blue. He became one of the very few pirates in West Blue, with a bounty of more than 500 million. Among the entire eight treasure navy, only the sharp cone on his head can break through the ice continent. However, eight years later, when Qing Zhao faced off against Garp, his pointed head was flattened by an iron fist. The continent of ice could no longer be broken open, and the treasure inside could not be taken out, so he felt resentful. Thirty years later, revenge against Garp's grandson. According to the timeline, the green pepper of Cone at this time. Although he has not yet gone to sea and has not played against Newgate, Shaki, Garp, Zephyr and others. But in terms of his own strength, he is already at his peak. Able to fight against Newgate, Shaki and others. Even a defeat is enough to prove that he has considerable strength. Now that we know Laozi, why don't you surrender quickly? Qing Zhao smiled arrogantly and didn't pay much attention to Yulo. On the other hand, his son's eyes almost popped out of his head, with a ghostly expression on his face. He. He is. Qing. Pointing his finger at Yulo, he mumbled for a long time, unable to speak clearly. What a bastard, a useless thing. Qing, you are a young brat, look at how cowardly you are. Looking at his cowardly son, he was so frightened that he couldn't even speak. I was so angry with Qing Zhao that I would hit him with my hand. Qing. Qing Yan. Sword God. At this time, Qing Zhao's son, breathing heavily, finally spoke out. Qing Zhao, who raised his hand, froze in place as if struck by lightning. Will the Azure Flame Sword God come to West Blue? I wouldn't be so unlucky. While her mind was shaking, Qing Zhao took out a newspaper. He unfolded it carefully, but after comparing it, he was stunned and his whole body cracked on the spot. The young man in front of him was the imp in his mouth. It's really Yulo, the Blue Flame Sword God. Although I was very shocked inside, I had also seen the big world. After a brief mental break, Qing Zhao quickly came back to his senses. The Gui pirates are far away in the New World. What are you doing in the Land of Flowers? Qing Zhao was sweating coldly as she tried weakly. Very good, the rightful owner is here, no more time to waste. I want the treasure of the Ice Continent. Yulo looked directly at Qing Zhao and threw the king to the ground. Oops. The king cried out in pain realizing that he was out of danger, and instead resented Qing Zhao. If it doesn't come early, it won't come late, it comes only after I have been tortured. If you had come a quarter of an hour earlier, I wouldn't have had to suffer this. Qing Zhao himself turned a blind eye to the king's resentful gaze. It was Yulo's words that made him change his face. After knowing that this person was Yulo, he had already expected it. But the treasures of the ice continent are the accumulation of their family inheritance. How could you give it up so easily? Dad, what should I do? Qing Zhao's son couldn't help but panic, he knows the importance of the ice continent's treasures. As the leader of the family, his father would definitely not hand it over. The enemy that can be faced is Yulo from Rock's Pirate. The famous Qing Yan sword god, the man at the pinnacle of the sea. 
How should they cope with such a huge disparity? Since you are unwilling, then you have no choice but to take action. Yulo was tired of waiting after wasting time one by one. With his right hand, he grasped the void, and Qinglian's heart fire emerged. The hot green fire burned and swayed in Yulo's hand. An endless heat wave swept across, and the temperature in the huge palace soared instantly. Qing Zhao and a group of people were waiting and happened to be standing at the gate. The heat wave follows the airflow and vents towards the ventilated place. The turbulent and hot airwaves hit their faces directly. Suddenly, my skin was burned and I felt a burst of pain, as if I was in a sea of fire. The legendary Qinglian Earth Core Fire, a flame hotter than magma. The group of people brought by Qing Zhao began to tremble when they spoke, and they were already immersed in fear. Your Excellency Yulo, if you have something to say, please say it, don't do it, don't do it. Qing Zhao was sweating like rain, and she couldn't tell whether it was cold or hot. In the perception of seeing, hearing, and color, this green fire is extremely threatening. If it really burned him, he wouldn't be able to resist it. Dad is right. Everything can be discussed, shall we discuss it slowly? Qing Zhao's son quickly came out to smooth things over. Qing Zhao and his son had ugly smiles on their faces. There is really no other way. Those who know the current affairs are heroes. Yulo's combat power is too strong, and they have no chance of winning. Even if I feel unconvinced and feel extremely aggrieved, I can only endure it. If they choose to resist, not only will their treasure be lost in the end. It may even cost everyone's lives. We can only stabilize Yulo first and sit down to discuss slowly. Maybe Yulo would be merciful and leave some treasures for them. This is the top strong person. When facing such a strong person, there is no resistance at all. Yulo sneered at the corner of his mouth, really thinking that he didn't know, Qing Zhao had his own plan. However, he did not take action immediately. Although the answer was not very satisfactory, Yulo liked the attitude. Just when Yulo was about to speak, the palace suddenly trembled. Boom. At the same time, there was an explosion. And judging from the sound, it's not close to here. It can be seen that the power of the explosion is extraordinary. Chief, Chief Qing Zhao, something serious has happened. The ice continent was invaded by people. The phone call came in, and an anxious voice came out. What? Qing Zhao and others were all shocked. Could it be that this Yulo brought others with him? Yulo couldn't help but frown, just looking at Qing Zhao. Qing Zhao noticed Yulo's expression and reacted keenly. Besides Rock's pirate, there is another group. Mom, hurry up and come back with me. She couldn't care less, Qing Zhao's face was gloomy and ugly, and she rushed out like flying. How come one wave after another of people came to snatch the ice continent because of their bad luck? I really thought that all cats and dogs were qualified to participate. Apart from the rocks pirate, there really wasn't any force that Qing Zhao didn't dare to resist. If you dare to compete with me for the ice continent, I will kill you without even knowing how. Yulo's eyes were cold, murderous intent grew in his heart, and he quickly followed. He wanted to see who was so bold under his nose. Grab him Yulo's prey and move rocks pirate's stuff. The figures of Qing Zhao and Yulo were moving rapidly in the low altitude. And the location of the ice continent is indeed far enough to hide. After marching for half an hour, when the air began to cool down, we saw a vast expanse of white. When Yulo and Qing Zhao arrived, on the continent of ice, there is a fierce battle. The icebergs are endless and endless. From the edge to the central area, corpses can be seen from time to time. These are Qing Zhao's men, sent to guard the iceberg. The intruders were cruel and annihilated all the guards here. In the central area of Ice Yamanaka, three black figures are fighting fiercely with a red figure. Two black figures suddenly rushed over. After a few exchanges of moves, he saw the right opportunity and held the red figure. Another black figure, much more powerful, kicked him over. The red figure couldn't dodge, and its armed color covered the defense, and it withstood the force of the kick. Good guy, he is indeed a CP0, he is well hidden. There is actually an admiral with combat power. The red figure stabilized his figure and suddenly grinned, his tone was quite unexpected. This small flower country actually allowed a strong admiral to condescend to her, and two elite vice admirals. Bararic Redfield, hindering the celestial dragon's nobles from doing their business, are you tired of living? The leading black figure's voice was cold and indifferent, without any emotion. Following the orders of the celestial dragons, I came to retrieve the treasure of the ice continent. No matter who stands in his way, he will kill him without mercy. However, Baloric Redfield is only stronger than him. Qing Zhao and others were also coming and had no time to deal with him. You CP0 are really stubborn dogs, and you treat celestial dragons as your ancestors every day. Lao thought that cultivation was boring and he followed you to have some fun, 
but this was the end of it. Beloric Redfield looked at the three people with disgust on their faces and cursed. During this time, Rock's pirate, world government and marine set off the New World's Uzumaki. He was worried about being pursued by the Rock's pirate, so he went to the Sabodi archipelago. I plan to keep a close eye on the movements of the world government while cultivating. Just in time to spot three figures, Marie Joyce quietly emerged. We even got on a large unofficial ship. Beloric Redfield had been trailing the trio. When it was discovered that they had arrived at West Blue, they became even more curious about the three people's purpose. The final result turned out to be the CP0 organization of world government, the strongest shield of celestial dragons. He did the same thing as a pirate, even far worse than a pirate. At least the pirates acted openly and above board. They wore black clothes that were completely opposite to CP0's white clothes. They were sneaky, sneaky, and shady. He wanted to steal the treasure but also wanted to hide his identity. Celestial Dragons, World Government, has good calculations. CP0, a trio of people dressed in casual clothes, had a faint change of color on their faces. An inexplicable feeling of shame came over me. As an official organization, they are also somewhat resistant to this kind of behavior. But it's just resistance, Celestial Dragons' orders cannot be disobeyed. What the noble Celestial Dragons think is none of their business. Bararic Redfield, since you know our goal, why don't you get out of my way quickly? Is it possible that you want to be hunted down by the world government? Time was getting increasingly urgent, and the leader, CP0 Admiral, gave his final warning. At the same time, he and his two subordinates had tightened their muscles, secretly accumulating strength and ready to explode at any time. He he he, I'm not even afraid of being chased by Rock's pirate. Why am I afraid of you, a mere world government? I came all the way to West Blue, how could I come back empty handed? The treasure of the ice continent, the celestial dragons want it, and so do I. Beloric Redfield was not afraid of the other party's threats at all, and his words were full of gunpowder. While speaking, he also glanced at the treasure sealed in the iceberg behind him. Given his character, facing so many treasures, Rao couldn't help but want to keep them for himself. How dare you provoke the world government? You are simply reckless. Do it. In CP0 Admiral's ears, the word Mir was extremely harsh, and killing intent instantly filled his brain. He immediately shouted angrily and his momentum exploded. CP0 and the three of them joined forces and killed him directly. Beloric Redfield's momentum also exploded. Using the umbrella in his hand as a long sword, the sword aura of the great swordsman filled the air. At the same time, Yulo chased Qingzhou to the edge of the ice continent. This is the continent of ice, it's really magical. Yulo looked at the vast iceberg and said with surprise. Icebergs in the interior are indeed very rare. And the iceberg here is known as the Baoyu iceberg. The hardness of icebergs is far from comparable to that of frozen fruit. This can be seen from the fact that only green pepper can break through the entire eight treasure navy. Boom. Suddenly, the ice continent beneath his feet trembled violently. In Yulo's perception, four auras were entangled together. Two of the auras were somewhat powerful, two admiral forces. Interesting. Yulo was slightly stunned and rushed into the iceberg. I thought some cat or dog broke in. Unexpectedly, two admiral level experts arrived. There shouldn't be such a strong person in West Blue. Even Qingzhou, who has a bounty of more than 500 million, is only as strong as the elite vice admiral. On the way to the central area, corpses on the ground from time to time also caught Yulo's attention. Killed in one blow, all wounds were caused by six styles. The top six styles of Yulo Grandmaster are obvious at a glance. Could it be someone from Marine or World Government? Yulo couldn't help laughing when he thought of this. There are only two places where the Admiral Strongman of the Grandmaster Sixth Form can be found. And all his moves are in six styles, so he is most likely from the World Government. A group of sanctimonious guys dare to steal Mr. Yulo's things. It's hard to come here, so just stay here. The corner of Yulo's mouth curled up slightly and turned into a gust of wind, rushing towards the central area. Qingzhao, who was familiar with the road, had already arrived. Looking at the broken iceberg, a corner of the treasure was revealed. You four thieves deserve to be damned if you touch my treasure. Qingzhao's eyes showed murderous intent, and he roared at the four people. However, the four people ignored it and still fought fiercely. The energy of physical skills and sword energy of swordsmanship are jumping up and down everywhere. From time to time, the iceberg is hit, and the iceberg breaks up, revealing the treasure. Arrogant guy, get out of here, Qingzhao was so angry that her face became fierce. No matter why they were fighting, now that they have broken into the ice continent, they are undoubtedly the enemy. Seeing that the four of them didn't take him seriously at all. 
he directly covered his fist with his weapon color and struck it with a eight punch. Armament hockey, mixed with fist power, broke through the resistance of the air. A shock wave of eight punches landed on one person. A vice admiral of CP0 is cooperating with the admiral to fight Baloric Redfield. Suddenly a strong gust of wind struck, causing a mad warning. Just as he turned his head, a huge fist fell. Bang. The CP0 vice admiral had no time to dodge and received a solid punch. In a hurry, he could only barely defend himself, and his body flew out like a cannonball. Ahem. The violent impact directly caused his whole body to collide with the hard iceberg, as if his body bones were about to fall apart. After knocking one person away, Ching Zhao became more fierce and turned around to stare at the other person. 8 Chong Fist Bu2, Ching Zhao jumped up and concentrated her power on the sharp cone. Like a meteorite falling down, it fell heavily. The pierced air flows, forming white Uzumaki airflow. In an instant, it reached the top of the man's head and was about to penetrate his skull. Get started. CP0 Admiral pushed the man away and faced Ching Zhao directly. Watching the attack falling from the sky, right in front of you. CP0 Admiral's body began to steam, with wisps of white mist emitting from it. Paper Arts Martial Body. Suddenly, CP0's Admiral entered a strange state, feeling the changes in the airflow. When the cone was about to hit him, his figure moved to one side and avoided Green Pepper's attack. Tempest Kick White Thunder. Then, it connects smoothly, and the Green Pepper has not yet landed. CP0 Admiral turned sideways and did a 180 degree backflip. The slash from Tempest Kick hit Green Pepper's cervical spine. Boom. With a scream, the Green Pepper's pointed head smashed into the ice. In the holes in the ice, the blood that Ching Zhao spit out spilled onto the ice. Vice Admiral, who is also an elite, is slightly stronger than the other two CP0s. Coupled with the sneak attack, one person can be knocked away with one move. But facing Admiral's combat power, whether it was attack or defense, he was beaten by others. During the gap between the fights, the opponent's blow directly hit the vital point and almost fainted. Dad. Chief Green Pepper. Ching Zhao's son and his men had just rushed over, and when they saw this scene, they couldn't help shouting in pain. These people are so strong. Dad was defeated so completely in one round. Ching Zhao's son and men were all horrified and couldn't help but tremble. It was terrible, one after another. Is today an unlucky day for the Babao Navy? They wanted to save Ching Zhao, but they were too strong to deal with. I have this idea in my mind, but my body doesn't obey it. Beloric Redfield, taking advantage of CP0 Admiral to resist Green Pepper. He made a vicious backhand move, but was blocked by another person and failed to make a successful sneak attack. Ha 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 ha, you've seen it too, dragging it on will only attract more people. Either no one takes it, or we divide it and you think about it carefully, I don't mind spending it here. Beloric Redfield threatened with a half smile. In fact, these words are just deceiving the Admiral of CP0. Humph, Little West Blue, how strong can one be? Ching Zhao, the pillar of the Babao Navy, was seriously injured and fell into a coma. As expected, CP0's Admiral is not a fool. As long as he behaves strongly, Beloric Redfield will never get a fortune. Hearing what the CP0 person said, Redfield's face darkened. In addition to one admiral, there are two elite vice admirals on the opposite side. If he fights one against three, he won't get any advantage, and he might even get injured. Come all this way, is it all in vain? CP0 vice admiral, which was blasted away by Green Pepper, broke free from the ice. West Blue is so big, I have to ask you, who else is there? He was suffocating in his heart, and his tone was extremely arrogant. So, he took the opportunity to vent his anger on Redfield. The CP0 trio looked directly at Redfield. Redfield's face was uncertain, and he hesitated as his thoughts flowed. Who else? And I. Suddenly, a huge sound, like a thunderbolt in the clear sky, resounded across the ice continent. Redfield's heart trembled, but he didn't notice it at all, so he concentrated and watched for a while. Who? Hide your head and show your tail, why don't you show up quickly? The three people in CP0 were startled and suddenly felt like they were facing a formidable enemy. However, what responded to the three people was the thunderous roar of a dragon. Roar. The boundless heat waves swept over and swallowed up everyone present. A giant dragon tens of meters long jumped into the air and turned over in the blink of an eye, its body burning with green flames. No. Back away. CP0 Admiral's face changed drastically, he sensed the threat and immediately ducked aside. The person following him, the CP0 Elite Vice Admiral, was also frightened and hid aside. 
Only the extremely arrogant CP0 Vice Admiral, who had just broken off the iceberg, was stunned for a while. He never expected that his casual words would actually call out a strong man. By the time he reacted, it was too late, and the green fire dragon took off. Boom. In an instant, the raging flames completely overwhelmed him. The CP0 Vice Admiral didn't have time to scream. It turned into a ball of ashes and scattered in all directions with the wind. The scene was silent, and everyone was stunned with shock. Ching Zhao's son swallowed his saliva and naturally knew who he was. He quickly led his men forward and dragged the unconscious Ching Zhao back. At this moment, the two CP0 people were so scared that they were sweating coldly. They looked around hurriedly, and their bodies started to tremble. Such an iconic and unusually powerful cyan flame. As the top executives of CP0, how could they not recognize their identities? Blue flame, is it him? Even Redfield's pupils shrank suddenly and he thought of something. He had tried his best to stay away from the rocks pirate people. Unexpectedly, outside of New World, in this small west blue, he would actually meet him. Clatter, 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 a crisp sound sounded. This is the sound of walking on ice. It's really surprising that the strongest shield of celestial dragons has become a pirate. But you are trying to steal my job. The treasures of the ice continent belong to the rocks pirate, and none of you can touch them. As Yulo walked, he felt like he was shrinking into an inch. In just a few words, he arrived at the scene. Pirate Yulo, this is the Kingdom of Flowers, a member of the world government. The treasures of the ice continent belong to the world government. CP0 Admiral was frightened in his heart, but he gritted his teeth and said forcefully, but his momentum was much weaker. The treasure was already within easy reach, but Yulo accidentally came out. He felt a little unwilling to give up the treasure to others like this. When Ching Zhao's son heard this, no matter how aggrieved he felt, he could only smile bitterly. Rock's pirate on one side and world government on the other. The two strongest forces on the ocean today. The situation in front of us was already doomed. The treasures of the ice continent no longer belong to them. It sounds grand, but it's very disgusting. Yulo's eyes grew colder, and CP0 Admiral's words aroused the murderous intention in his heart. Boom. The fire in Qinglian's heart burned, and the hot airwaves swept across the entire place. After CP0 Admiral spoke, he kept observing Yulo. The moment he saw Qing Huo, he ran away without hesitation. Regardless of his Admiral combat power, the Admiral level also has strengths and weaknesses. He pales in comparison to Yulo. Although they are both witches, they are not the same. With the defeat of the five elders in the battle and the internal information of CP0, he killed Admiral Alot. The fighting prowess Yulo displayed was simply beyond the pale, and he was absolutely unstoppable. Withdraw. CP0 Admiral rose into the sky, and Moonwalk applied to ultimate. The CP0 Vice Admiral is slightly weaker and moves a bit slower. Yulo whipped out a green fire whip and pulled him back forcefully. The blazing green fire followed the long whip and enveloped the Vice Admiral. In just a few breaths, it was burned to ashes. Can you run away? Yulo shouted softly, and his body turned into a cyan trajectory. After a few moves in the air, he caught up with CP0's admiral. By the way, he shot out a giant blue flame dragon. Damn it, when he saw Yulo's figure, he was already about to catch up with him. The giant blue flame dragon crashed towards him. CP0 admiral was horrified, and his instinctive consciousness of survival took over his brain. Six styles life burning, he roared ferociously, and his momentum surged by three points. Armament Hockey covers and defends the whole body. Turning around suddenly, Armament Hockey released his attack and resisted the attack of Flame Dragon's Wrath. Oh? Not bad. He's a little stronger. I'll try my moves on you. Yulo's eyes lit up. This CP0 Admiral has become a bit more powerful after being improved with secret skills. Devoured by the Green Fire Dragon, CP0 Admiral is at the same time. Yulo used Moonwalk to stay in the air and came to the sky above CP0 Admiral. Six Styles Six King Gun. White mist rose from Yulo's body, mobilizing all his strength and converging on his fists. A white shock wave fell from the sky towards the CP0 Admiral below. The flames below suddenly dissipated, and CP0 Admiral panted heavily, barely blocking the green fire dragon. However, he didn't expect that what was waiting for him was an even more terrifying secret attack. Boom. The shock wave was powerful, breaking the surrounding air and causing a thunderous sound. CP0 Admiral suddenly raised his head, showing a desperate look. Don't. Don't kill. The shock wave hit his head and penetrated directly from top to bottom. There was a loud bang that shook the heaven and earth. It hit the iceberg and the entire iceberg shattered. 
The huge ice continent trembled slightly for a while. A large amount of blood slowly flowed out along the cracks in the ice. Under the fragments of the iceberg, CP0 Admiral's body had been decapitated and could no longer die. In the distance, Ching Zhao's son and his group of people. Everyone's face was horrified, and their hearts were in turmoil, and they couldn't recover for a long time. Too strong, Ching Zhao's son murmured, with a look of shock on his face. Is this the strength to defeat five elders, second only to rocks? With such overwhelming strength, their violent pirate group is completely unsatisfactory. Redfield, who was watching from the sidelines, couldn't help but feel his heart sink. Witnessing Yulo's strength with his own eyes, he could only marvel that it was well deserved. Just the Chinglian Earth Heartfire in his hand and the top notch physical skills made him feel threatened by life and death. Not to mention Yulo, who is known as the Sword God, must be far better than him in swordsmanship. Redfield just hopes that Yulo doesn't know about the rocks pirate hunting him down. Yulo, who was stagnant in the air, couldn't help but shake his head in disappointment after killing CP0 Admiral with one move. It's better to look up to him. After burning his life, his strength will not improve much. Yulo lost all his momentum and murmured that this battle was not satisfying. He couldn't help but think of the CP0 Admiral who died at the hands of rocks during the Battle of Naval Headquarters. After he used Life Burn, his strength improved significantly and he blocked Rock's attack. After using Life Burn, this person's strength was barely reached. The Admiral whom Rocks killed had the same strength without Life Burn. It seems that he should be the bottom Admiral in CP0, and his strength is about the same as that of the Field Marshal. With this level of strength, Shaki can handle it. Redfield was born Grandmaster Observation Hockey, and Yulo's murmur could be heard clearly. Although I was still shocked, the corners of my mouth couldn't help but twitch. You can't blame others for being too weak, but you are too strong. Alas, it seems that he has no chance to obtain the treasure of the ice continent. Redfield sighed in his heart, but seemed helpless. The treasure was right in front of him, but he couldn't get his hands on it. He felt a little unwilling and regretful. You are Baloric Redfield. Looking at you, you also want the treasure of the ice continent. Yulo landed on the ice and looked over with a solemn gaze. How could he not notice Redfield's micro expression? Indeed, I had this idea before, but let's forget it now. I'm not one of those bad guys from CP0, I'm still self aware. Hearing this, Redfield couldn't help but smile bitterly and shake his head. If he dared to think even a little bit, he would probably die on the spot. Seeing Redfield's attitude, Yulo didn't bother to talk to him anymore. In fact, Yulo is very interested in some future legendary pirates. It's just that Redfield is still far away from his peak, which has greatly reduced his interest. I gave the signal and came to carry the treasure. Then, Yulo threw a ball of green fire into the air to contact the pirates on the ship. After hanging up the phone, Yulo came to the iceberg and tapped on the ice. Da da da. The sound is very thick, and the hardness is indeed extraordinary. No wonder only Qingzhou can break through the entire eight treasure navy. Yulo estimated that if the strength of the weapon color did not reach a high level, it should not be broken. Unless it's the sword energy of a great swordsman, or something like Qingzhou, the eight charge fist cone plus the weapon color, the dual power is superimposed. But for him, it was easy. Yulo's hand pressed on the iceberg, and the top armament hockey was released. Click. Click. Several icebergs containing treasures were shattered into ice slag on the ground. It is indeed arrogant and arrogant, comparable to the gold in the sky. Yulo looked at the treasure in front of him and couldn't help but admired it. After some inspection, they all found some gold and silver treasures, but nothing valuable was found. It's right to think about it, if there is anything, a good devil fruit, a good famous sword weapon. Qingzhao had already been taken away to equip the members of the family. And Qingzhao's son, after the death of CP0, took the unconscious Qingzhao and left sadly. After a while, several teams of crew members arrived. Oh my god, this is the treasure of the ice continent. This must be several billion baileys, I said, why are you standing there stupidly? Let's start moving. Under the command of the captain, the crew began to carry the treasure. Facing the mountain-like treasure, the crew members were all very motivated, rolling up their sleeves and working hard. The last batch of treasures was transported, and Yulo left with the crew. Immediately when they walked out of the ice continent, a red figure rushed over quickly. It was Redfield who saw the treasure being evacuated and had no choice but to leave. Now he flew back. Yulo couldn't help but stop and signaled everyone to stop, observation hockey sensed. The next moment, cold murderous intent rose from his body. The army from the Kingdom of Flowers is surrounding us. Redfield stopped aside and said solemnly, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 
As soon as he finished speaking, a burst of wind sounded. In midair, artillery shells shot out like a dense black meteor shower. These are shells. How dare the flower country? How can you dodge so many shells? When the crew saw this scene, they panicked. Even Redfield's face darkened. Are the people from the Kingdom of Flowers Shapi? Knowing that the opponent was Yulo, he still dared to send troops to intercept him. It was really bad luck for eight lifetimes. Not only did he not get any treasure, but he also encountered this kind of predicament. Although he has Admiral's strength, the meteor shower of shells is no joke. Let's take action together and block the shells first. Yulo's eyes surged with coldness, green fire burned, and he jumped up first. A fire fist was thrown out horizontally, and the blazing flames rushed towards the cannonball. Redfield also prepared his attack, using the bat umbrella as a sword wielder, and the sword energy flew out. Boom. 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 Countless shells exploded in midair and the violent explosions were deafening. The entire ground, the continent of ice, trembled. The smell of gunpowder was pungent, and the sky was filled with smoke and dust. A dense crowd of people surged, and black clouds pressed over like a city. You really don't know what's good or bad. I just lost my life not long ago. If I don't be your king properly, I will come here to die. Yulo looked at him coldly. The person leading him was none other than the king of the kingdom of flowers. Don't be too arrogant. The treasures of the ice continent belong to our flower country. You pirates, you rob whenever you ask. Do you think my country is afraid of you? What's the use of being famous and powerful? You're just a person. There are 50,000 dead soldiers here. I don't believe you can stop them. Even if they are exhausted, they will kill you. If you don't want to die, leave the treasure to me. The king of the kingdom of flowers was fierce, and the 50,000 dead soldiers gave him confidence and made him look fearless. There was deep resentment in Yulo's eyes. As the king of the kingdom of flowers, he has never been bullied before. It is simply a shame for him. And when his eyes moved to the treasure, he was replaced by endless greed. The king of the flower kingdom is afraid of death, otherwise he wouldn't have cried for his father and mother when he was at Yulo's feet. It was just greed that went to his head, his desire for treasure exceeded the importance he placed on life. From this point of view, he is the same type of person as John, who typically loves money as much as his life, or even more than his life. The treasures of the ice continent are worth at least two billion baileys. It has been on his territory and he has been coveting it for a long time. Subconsciously, I have already regarded it as my own. However, in the Kingdom of Flowers, they are wary of the Babao navy and the strength of Qingzhou. The king couldn't directly grab it, so he couldn't wait for a good opportunity, so he didn't take action. But in the current situation, Qing Zhao was severely injured and fell into coma, and waking up was a problem. Qing Zhao's son sadly withdrew, acquiescing that the treasures of the ice continent no longer belonged to the Eight Treasure Navy. Isn't this the good opportunity he has been waiting for? If you don't take action now, wait until later. He would never stand it if pirates robbed the treasure. Then it's time for the flower country to be destroyed. Green fire surged from Yulo's body, and the temperature around him rose. His eyes were extremely cold, looking at the king calmly and indifferently. Because in his eyes, the king of the kingdom of flowers is already a dead man. You're so damn pretentious. How dare you be so arrogant in the face of 50,000 dead soldiers? Ah ha ha ha. What rocks pirate, what Qingyan sword god, go to hell. The king bared his teeth and claws, laughing maniacally. Behind him, 50,000 dead soldiers gathered. Looking down from the sky, the view is divided into two. Half of it is a vast white iceberg, and the other half is a black mass. At this time, the king of flower country gave an order. 50,000 soldiers in black armor gathered around the ice continent. Damn pirate! Wait for death in despair. This is a weapon secretly cultivated by our country of flowers. The 50,000 dead soldiers are not afraid of life and death. Nothing can stop them. And when they stop, it means you're dead. The king of the kingdom of flowers continued to go crazy and roared passionately. He covets the treasures of the ice continent and does not hesitate to use his trump card for his own selfish desires. This army of 50,000 dead soldiers has always been allowed to be exposed only in times of crisis. This is the rule of kings in the past. Now it has been exposed and the rocks pirate has been offended. To make up for the price, he must get the treasure. Since Yulo refuses to give up the treasure, he will die in the sea of people. Ha 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 ha. The king of the kingdom of flowers is quite courageous, but he just doesn't have a good brain. I will let you see with your own eyes whether I will be injured first or you will destroy the country first. It was unexpected to mobilize the whole country to send 50,000 dead soldiers, it seemed to be serious. It has to be admitted that the kingdom of flowers does have some heritage. 
it is no wonder that the Eight Treasure Navy and others can last for hundreds of years. The whole army rushes to kill. This group of pirates in front of me will be killed without mercy. Whoever kills the fiery brat will be rewarded with 100 million belly and given a noble title. The king suddenly drew out the long sword guarding him, holding it up and roaring angrily. The morale of the 50,000 strong army continued to rise with the encouragement of the king. Kill without mercy, the leader of the dead soldiers shouted angrily. Kill. Kill. 50,000 dead soldiers shouted together and responded in unison. The shouts of killing resounded throughout the world, soaring into the sky with great force, shocking people's hearts. On the empty land, in the iceberg continent, the shouts of killing echoed endlessly. The crew members behind Yulo had never seen such a scene before. Everyone's mind was shocked and they couldn't help but tremble. Even Redfield's hair stood up on the back of his neck and his palms became sweaty. At the same time, at this time, Yulo's observation hockey sensed that 50,000 pairs of cold eyes were locked on him. In addition to the cold look in these eyes, there was also a biting murderous intent. For a moment, he felt suppressed, but it passed quickly. Facing this kind of scene for the first time, anyone would feel a little uncomfortable. After all, even the Rocks Pirate only has a formal crew of 10,000 people, and the rest are trainee crews. But the current situation is different. There were a total of 50,000 dead soldiers, each with a deep murderous intent in their eyes. 50,000 pairs of cold eyes are staring at you, can you not feel anything? Haha, <laughs> with so many people, we can only go on a killing spree. Yulo's eyes narrowed slightly and the corners of his mouth turned upward. Faced with such a situation, there are only these four words. Boom. The army of 50,000 dead soldiers rushed towards Yulo like a rolling torrent. With uniform steps, every step made the ground feel like it was hit hard. Suddenly, the earth and the iceberg began to shake. The dark group of dead soldiers seemed to have condensed into a ferocious beast. There was a thumping sound on the ground and the shouts of the dead soldiers. Superimposed together, it's like a bolt from the blue and rolling thunder. The power is earth shattering and shocking to the mind. Your Excellency Yulo, what should we do? Redfield's face looked ugly, as if he had eaten something. He only regretted that he was unlucky, why didn't he leave earlier? Although the main target is not him, he can't hide. There are only 50,000 dead bodies. Today, the royal family of the Kingdom of Flowers will completely disappear in West Blue. Yulo took a step towards the 50,000 dead soldiers and said without looking back. This guy is too reckless. These are 50,000 dead soldiers who are not afraid of death, can he handle it alone? Redfield, who was waiting at the side, saw Yulo suddenly walking out, and couldn't help but become anxious, trying to give him a response. Meeting him directly like this made him a little hesitant and even began to doubt Yulo. Attacking 50,000 dead soldiers head-on is undoubtedly the stupidest way. Faced with this situation, given his strength, there was only one way to die. After all, human physical strength is limited, even if it is 50,000 immovable trees. If you were asked to chop down each tree one by one, you will be exhausted. Not to mention the 50,000 dead soldiers who are well trained and not afraid of life and death. You may die from exhaustion before you finish killing. Just one person trying to resist my 50,000 dead soldiers is simply a daydream. Under the charge of 50,000 dead soldiers, even if rocks comes, he can be trampled into a pulp. Yulo alone is in sharp contrast to the 50,000 dead soldiers. This greatly increased the king's confidence, and he boasted proudly, waiting to see the end of Yulo's death. While Yulo was walking, he tried his best to mobilize Qinglian's inner fire. The distance between him and the army of 50,000 dead soldiers was getting closer and closer. The compressed green fire in Yulo's body also accumulated more and more. The 50,000 dead soldiers in front of him all had murderous intentions towards him. In this case, it's better not to use conqueror's hockey. Yulo wants the dead soldiers to experience the taste of death for themselves. Boom. 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 The sound of treading on the ground was deafening, like winter thunder. Yulo walked forward slowly, hoping to overwhelm 50,000 dead soldiers with one person. When the distance was less than a hundred meters, a dead soldier rushed over first. Kill. One, two, three. Accompanied by bursts of roars, the charging dead soldiers were approaching. At this time, the accumulated green fire in Yulo's body was saturated, and it felt like it was gushing out. Finally, Yulo was ready to take action. Of course he would not be stupid enough to kill them one by one, but to kill them on a large scale. There is an encyclopedia of fire skills, and he has mastered several high-level and large-scale skills. However, I have never had a chance to use it, but now I have the perfect opportunity. Looking at the dark army of dead soldiers right in front of us. 
There were sparks floating in the corners of Yulo's eyes, and green fire came out of his body and began to flow all over his body. The whole person turned into a green burning man, placed in the center of the heat, as if the hot hell, the god of fire descended to earth. The dead soldier's blade has arrived in front of Yulo. Elementalization the wrath of the flame dragon. Yulo transformed into green fire and reorganized into a winding green fire dragon. Roar. Blasting away the charging dead soldiers, the green fire dragon turned into a stream of light and rushed straight towards the army of dead soldiers. The huge body rushed forward and charged in with overwhelming force. The body transformed from the green fire element was hit by the dead soldier's blade and was immune to physical attacks. And the dead soldiers who were contaminated by the green fire began to burn one by one. Damn cyan flames! What kind of flame is this? How come it can't be extinguished? Don't be contaminated by the blue flames, in an instant, the burning dead soldiers turned into ashes and dispersed. He broke through the dead soldiers' formation and opened a long and narrow firepath. When rushing into the army of dead soldiers, Yulo's observation hockey directly covered the entire field. This is it, the center of the army. Relying on his knowledge and perception, Yulo did not continue to charge when he penetrated the radius. Roar. The green fire dragon looked up to the sky and roared, raised its head and soared upward, then hovered in the low sky. On the ground, the dead soldiers lost their target and all their footsteps stopped. The king, who was watching the battle in a safe area, asked the two guard leaders to take action. However, Redfield, who was lurking over, stopped the two guard leaders. Low in the sky, the time has come. The green fire accumulated in Yulo's body spurted out without reservation. Boom. 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 The green fire was like a fire cloud, spreading crazily in all directions. In an instant, the dead soldiers on the ground felt the boundless heat wave. An unprecedented sense of oppression, like a mountain bearing down on top. The musketeers attack and take him down. Among the 50,000 dead soldiers, a few took out their muskets and started shooting at Yulo. Haha, it's just a little bit of residual light, how can it compete with the bright sun? At this moment, the green fire was boundless, burning blazingly in the air completely covering the 50,000 dead soldiers. Swastika Brahma. Yulo's angry shouts were deafening and like thunder. The dead soldiers were in their sight with uneasiness. The boundless green fire changes and condenses into a Wan seal. The area printed with the character Wan is as boundless as the fire cloud. The 50,000 dead soldiers on the ground were all shrouded in the word Wan. Yulo was using Brahma with all his strength, and his stamina was constantly draining away. Aha, uh -huh. therefore, the character, Wan, as formed in Yulo directly pushes it down. With the support of thrust and gravity, the, Wan, seal is powerful, like a natural disaster. The speed of landing was like a meteorite attack, and it hit the ground with a loud bang. Click. Click. A large area of the ground cracked, and the entire earth collapsed under the impact of the, swastika, seal. Boom. The earth-shaking sound resounded throughout the iceberg land. The sky was filled with smoke and dust, blocking out the sun, and the 50,000 dead soldiers could not be seen. I could only vaguely see the blue flames rising into the sky in the gray smoke. In such a short period of time, 50,000 dead soldiers were defeated. That super wide range of moves is simply unbelievable. I feel like I'm looking up to you, as this guy still human. Redfield killed the enemy, with a look of awe and shock in his eyes. He is also well informed, but in front of Yulo, he looks like a country bumpkin. Yulo's moves were beyond his imagination. A strong wind passed by, and the smoke and dust dispersed in the sky. In the deep pit like a basin, green fire is burning. The ground collapsed on a large scale, and most of the 50,000 dead soldiers died. Broken limbs, broken bones, blood and brains are scattered in the deep pit. Under the burning of green fire, it is turning into nothingness. The remaining dead soldiers were also clinging to life. The green fire followed the tinling cap and quickly burned the whole body. Ah. Ah. The fierce shouts of killing before turned into miserable screams. In just a short moment, 50,000 dead soldiers perished, some were crushed by boulders, and some were turned into ashes. Even the king of the kingdom of flowers was burned to death by the aftermath of the green fire. Since then, all the people brought by the king have perished beside the ice continent. Hiss. Dot who? Yulo panted slightly and looked at the scene below. To be honest, he didn't expect it to be so powerful, killing 50,000 dead soldiers. It's no wonder that this large-scale skill consumes a lot of energy. Even with a top-notch physique, Yulo could clearly feel a slight loss of physical strength. During the attack on naval headquarters, the company fought five admiral forces. Various skills, big and small, were lost no matter what, 
a dozen of them were lost. Even in such a series of battles, the amount of physical strength lost is only several times that of the swastika brahma. In other words, this high-level skill, swastika brahma, requires a lot of physical strength. It is equivalent to releasing the physical strength required for several mid-level skills at the same time. 